โอเคโอเคพอกัน back it's the final countdown ดิดิดิดิดิดิดิดิดิดิดิดิดิดิดิดิดิดิดิดิดิดิโอ้ไม่เอ่อฟิริตฮะอิสนัทโปเกมอนเวอร์ชันฮัลโหลไรที่นั่นอู้ซีดีซี่ก็ต้องสปายซีวีเอทีฟแต่ก็ต้องเบบี้คันที่เป็นเล็กๆฮ่าแมนSomeone adopted you. Oh. Do they offer you candy? Don't trust anyone with a white band, but black bands are different. <laughs> I love spicy things. Hmm. What does spice in me at the bowl? So zombie, it's close. We are nearly there. I think <laughs> around like five more hours, and we should finish this whole nightmare. Touching my spaghetti. You're telling me that? <laughs> There's a lot of weirdos on there. Us included. Items left, huh? <laughs> Ooh, today of all days, huh?
I haven't been in DR chat in a while. I don't think I even played any PC games in a long time. I don't remember when. Hold up. Hold up. Wait. Let me check on the stream and make sure everything's okay. Hey. Hold up for me. Knows how to party. Alright, so there's a couple Knows seconds of lag. Alright, so there's a couple Knows seconds of lag. Alright, so there's a couple seconds of lag. Alright, so there's a couple seconds of lag. Alright, so there's a couple seconds of lag. Somebody touch my spaghetti. Somebody touch my spaghetti. Somebody touch my spaghetti. Hmm. Let's go out there and show these folks what's up. <laughs> People are funny. See your fur form one day, zombie. You're like, this is you know my final form. <laughs> Five minutes later. <sighs> <laughs> Haven't seen you in a, in a couple days, huh? <sighs> How you been, Shindaku? <laughs> I don't. I don't think I recognize which song that's from. I'm thinking of that song. <laughs> then it's just all about something about the world and giving. Na 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 <laughs> yep, we're almost done here, Shinda. As the title of this video states, we're at the final countdown. <laughs> you can just hear the song rumbling throughout the throughout the auditorium in here. It's the final countdown. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, 
I think I am resting for excited. Five hours yesterday, four hours the other day. So I'm like nine hours in. Like day four and a half, maybe. <sighs> ah! That's spooky. Yep, and then after this, we're in the theater right now, you know, where the, that weird worshipping cult used to be, the main storyline. <sighs> we shall soon be done with this, like, five hours worth of playing. Yeah, I always think something's gonna happen when I hear the buzz. Like, like I'm like chilling out one day, and all of a sudden, you just <laughs> you hear the buzz, and the zombies just come busting in. Then I'd be like, oh, freak, you know? Cause it's not like I'm packing on weapons exactly. Then uh, I barricaded the door, cause knowing me, I would go out there and start playing around, and that's one of that is. I'm kind of too far in to start messing around. <laughs> you know what I mean? I mean, we're literally right there, just right there. But I don't know where I should go next after the theater, cause I think the theater is usually when people end it. I know I shouldn't go to the cafeteria though, or in Wonderland Plaza, because that was just. That's just gonna kill me in the end. <laughs> Torture. Hmm. <laughs> and do ya, Jinder Kun? With my luck, when I mess around, you know I'll die somehow. <laughs> uh, my luck's going against me most of the time, so you can guarantee I'll die easily. Yeah, I should practice fighting moves while I'm on here, huh? I know the jump kick. I know how to do a wall jump, I think. Hold on. Ah. Yep, I can do the wall kick. <laughs> oh, watch out, martial artist. Here I come. Okay, well, I can do the slam. I can do the backflip. Ah. God dang it. And then I can do the twirly whirly. This boy's OP. I don't know what other moves I can do though. What other big boy moves should I remember? Hmm. Wait, I know the jump on thing, I think. Um, I know to move my stick like crazy when I get caught. <laughs> you know, I was actually kind of half tempted to do something stupid today, too, like. Like, uh, was it, do you know the, here, while we're waiting, 
Oh, hold on. Let me. Let me. Um, lose that one health bar so I can huh. drink this yogurt. And I'll show you the soup I was eating. Like, you probably know what it is, too. The spiciest ramen on the earth. Or, you know, the spiciest bagged war ramen. You know, the red one with chicken on it. That one. Like, I'm a pretty tolerant, like, spice tolerant guy, you know? I worked years to get my freaking spice levels to where it is. Hmm. And I think the highest I ever went was, like, the whole Wild Wings blazing levels. You know, that was probably the only thing that knocked me on my butt back then. <sighs> But then over time, I kind of, I didn't get used to it, but I could tolerate it better. And so when I tried this soup out like a week ago, well, oh boy. It burnt, but I was like, this is the best. It was like blazing levels immediately. They didn't go away. But then I was also drinking hot with it, and that's what triggered it to go worse. And so I think it was yesterday, I tried it again. And I, I literally was... Like immediate, immediate tears came out, and I just started dying. I was like, ah! And then, yeah, it was just endless torture for about like 20, 15 minutes. And then today, I was like, I'm gonna be a crazy guy, and I ate it again. But this time, I was like, I'm gonna see how long I can last without drinking anything, you know? And so I grabbed some orange juice, because orange juice is the best juice. And then, um, <laughs> when I drank it, no, I didn't even drink it. I mean, I ate the soup, right? But I didn't drink it. And the funny thing is, like, instead of shooting up to, like, the intolerable levels, like, up to blazing, it was kind of, like, it was more tolerable. It's you! <laughs> Hello, Lindsay. I haven't seen you in a good while. Are you crying? Huh? Are you doing the little owls I cry? <laughs> Are you crying at my sad story about how I ate spicy soup? I cried too yesterday and today when I ate that spicy crap. <laughs> it hurt. It hurt so much. <clears throat> Alright. Does everyone else usually you knows, but you might need it now. Do you know about Dead Rising? <laughs> okay, I'll give you the run, the quick rundown of it. Uh, Alright, let's see. Hmm. So, I'm Frank West, a uh, photojournalist. Uh, I go to Willamette, Colorado, wherever the heck. And apparently it's ran over by zombies, like the walking zombies, you know, walkers. Yep, dead rising. I just had a little girl scream, blood for blood, God skulls were assaulted. Hmm. Oh God, zombie. And yes, in the dead rising. <laughs> I said dead rising, right? I'm pretty sure I said Dead Rising. Oh, but yeah, so you basically, you're trapped in a mall for 72 hours or three days with zombies, and you gotta save survivors if you want to. It's not, you don't really have to. And that's kind of the whole gist of it. Just kind of, you know, survive, you know, eat food hmm. to reveal health, use anything you want as a weapon. That's kind of the whole, like, the, the gimmick of this game. Like, all this crap you find around a mall, like sticks, Stones, toys, anything you use as a weapon, right? And that's so it's that, and you can dress up as whatever. Right? Like you can literally dress in a dress. It's ridiculous. <laughs> it's, but so, anyways, when you beat the, there's different levels, different endings. And so, when the uh, the best ending is S rank, and I, I don't remember how you get it. I think you have to do all the missions on time or something but besides that you unlock a if you beat the game you mm -hmm. unlock the spe like special modes and this is one of them it's called infinity mode and infinity mode is basically just survival mode like you don't have any missions or anything you just you're in the mall and every survivor 
that you save in every psychopath that you fought in the last in the um, story mode. You know, psychopaths are just like the crazy guys that you got to fight with special weapons and stuff. They appear in here, and all of them are bad. Like they're terrible. They want to kill you. So it's you versus Ryu versus everyone. There's there's nobody here to help you out. Zombies technically do, because you know they fight them too. But they, you know how zombies are. So anywho, that's where I am now. Uh, there's a. Uh, sh yeah, and now I'm gonna explain to you why I'm stuck in a room, <laughs> and not out there fighting zombies. So my goal is to hit, get the seven day achievement, which is you know survive seven days, because you probably I don't know if you noticed, but do you see where it says level fifty in the top left side of my screen? Well, the the squares are my health, obviously, and it's blinking. Hmm. And then the the bar on the bottom, you know, the thin bar. Wait, wait, Lindsay, wait. Let me explain. Wait. You'll you'll see why I must I must do this. <laughs> you just this is the worst part about the thing. Ooh, really? Oh, freak. Yeah, then I guess I better start focusing on just killing them at the end instead of letting zombies do the job, huh? Good thing I haven't had that happen yet. Oh, but anyways, uh, Lindsay. So, um, to basically sum it up now, my that thin bar it used to be the XP bar, you know, for when I leveled up, but now it's my uh, it's like the hunger bar or my technical health bar. And it lowers over time, and then when it you know goes to zero, I lose the health bar, so I have to eat in order to fill it back up, which is pretty simple. You know, you probably understand that. I hope. And that's kind of it. It's just me trying to survive for seven days. And as easy as that sounds, here's why it's not easy. So in this game mode, you can't save. And it was on 360, you know, the co console generations back, huh. and you couldn't, you couldn't turn off your Xbox because if you did, it would restart the game, you know. So I was kind of screwed over, and I did it back then. I have a story about how I, I did it back then once, but disaster struck. That's all I can say. And so here I am. It takes two hours per day, and I gotta survive for seven days. No. Uh, no turn. No, technically, I'm not supposed to turn off my console, and no saving. And if I die once, it's all over. I gotta start from scratch. Hmm. So that's why I gotta kind of hoard all the food in one area and hide. And you'll know, kill survivors if I want to take their food, which apparently you have to deal with finishing blow. Um, I think I'm like nine hours in now. Yup. Long story. <laughs> and nine hours in now, so that's like almost nearly five days in. When I get the fight, you'll start hearing mall music and stuff. You know, when it thinks it's nighttime right now. In nighttime, zombies actually get stronger. Like if uh, if I drop quick one in the morning, they'll die. But if I at night, if I drop quick one. They'll get right back up, but you could drop. It's like double the damage I think you have to do. But you kind of get the gist. And each health item gives different amounts of health. And these are all like really good items right here. Oh, and then that's the other thing. Food is scarce in here. This it's scarce. Like there used to be a like a what's it called? Like a food mart. Survivors and bosses can get hurt by zombies, but if you don't kill them, you don't get their Jesus. Yep, that's what I figured. Oh, but yeah, like there used to be a supermarket, like a food market here, right? And you can, there's infinite food. But in this mode, they locked it down. Hmm. <laughs> Who's Paul again? Oh, right, right. Oh, yeah. He's the guy who disappeared. I think he killed himself. Hmm. Uh, yeah, it's, I didn't see his box. 
zombie. <sighs> I thought you're an L. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you get the gist of it, Lindsay. It's just a big disaster, and food doesn't it, like it hardly like there's barely any food around the mall. Like I don't know how many items, but not much. Yeah. Yeah, I know he was the arson. I seen him in the beginning, but he disappeared when I went back to the entrance plaza. And the sniper grazed right there yet. And that's when he, I think you were there when I killed um, Carlitos, right? Yeah, I know, the Molotovs. Do I have any food on me? I don't have any food. <coughs> but yep, and then, so you gotta need food. You gotta either search for it, because there's only one, you know, if you see it, that's the only one you're getting from that area, or you gotta kill a survivor. And remember, they're not exactly always easy, because there's the psychopaths like Adam the Clown, who has like two mini chainsaws, and oh boy. Yeah, it's just, it's crazy. I had to kill survivors so far. How many did I kill? So there's the sniper brothers and their dad in the park. Huh. Then I killed Carlitos with this. I think it was a, a submachine gun in the food court, which I can't go to because it, that area is known to freeze your game at, at the last moment. So that's a no-no. That's why I lost last time all those years ago. It was a disaster. It broke poor little, little Alzey's heart. <laughs> Unlike in the main game, any grad food won't respond when you really don't. Yeah, yeah. No food responds. So what you see is what you get. But there is definitely enough food. If you, you, know, you spread it out correctly and don't waste it, there is definitely enough for just five, seven days. And like everyone says, the hardest part is literally just waiting. Because 14 hours, you know. 14 hours of waiting and not trying to die. In a game where everything's trying to kill you. Fantastic. And this is my get up for my guy. I like, I always like dressing him like this ever since I first bought him. <laughs> oh, freak, is there? <laughs> Minimum. Ooh. Well, I won't go that far. <laughs> Because even though I would love to, that's just, there's no point, really, besides seven days, because that's the achievement, right? So, yeah, and so, since this game is mostly just me waiting around, I've been going crazy. Ooh, do you now? That's hmm. uh, that's gonna take a lot of hours. So if it's 17 days minimum, let's just say you're probably possibly able to survive 20. <sighs> that's 40 hours. That's what's 40 hours? What's usually 40 hours, isn't it? No, it's not that. Isn't that like usually the entire length of normal games, like getting all the side missions and stuff? That's a lot of time. <laughs> Isn't it like a thankless reward too? Because you're just kind of like, oh, you sorry this long. I'm training myself by not eating <sighs> moth food until I kill the final enemy that spawns in. And then you burn. <laughs> oh, okay. So tell me this, Shindakun. When you, um, when you kill a psychopath, hmm. does the other one spawn in, like, another one spawn in in order somewhere else? Or is it that they just spawn in at different times? Because I know there's times when Carlios will spawn in with Molotov Boy. Hmm. Or snipe the sniper uh, tri trio. Hmm. 
And as you can see, Lindsay, we're, we're a happy community. All gathering together to beat this one god dang achievement. <laughs> but knowing my luck, and me seeing it in person, just... Everything's trying to kill me, and it's harder than it should be. <laughs> But no, no. Maybe after I beat this uh, seven-day mode, I might go to story mode, and I'll try to do the mass genocide achievement. Ooh, it's morning. Look, do you hear that music now? So it's like six in the morning, I think, right? Yeah, different times. That's what I figured. So it's morning right now. So we're probably like uh, four days in. <laughs> Okay. So, yeah, Lindsay, I hope everything makes sense now. You hear, you see the predicament? You see why I'm stuck in this room and I don't really want to go on die real quick and lose everything um yeah yeah it's just kind of a a group effort <laughs> and since you know standing around could get boring for people that you know probably don't want to just watch a teddy bear in a suit standing around eating steak and stuff throughout the day i do some stuff that's pretty stupid but i think it's hilarious i think i did a tier list a couple days ago of the sonic games and then uh I do too. I know these songs from the bottom of my heart because I played this game for so long. I oh, maybe I should do a tier list for Dead Rising songs. I wonder if they have a tier list for it already. Me, me, me. It's good for your heart. The more we eat, the more uh, protein you get. I guess. Woo! <laughs> Yeah, I like to chat with these fine folks here in the comments. And I do karaoke, which is very terrible. <laughs> I think yesterday I started going insane. Zombie was there. I, I don't know if you were there yet, Shinda, were you? Oh no, you weren't there yesterday, Shinda. You were out. It was um wasn't Dragon Dragon? Or Dragon was a couple days ago, wasn't it? And Marpico was yesterday. Yeah, like a lot a couple people have been following me when I'm playing this game of all games. kind of cool. I love seeing the community still play this game, you know? And the, I, would, I would play the story mode, but you know, this is a harder challenge than that. Here, after I um, lose this one last health bar, I'll eat this meat, the steak, I think it's a steak. Well then, steak, yeah. I'm gonna eat the steak, I'll probably, uh... I guess I could do karaoke. <laughs> I'll do some karaoke for you guys. As terrible as that sounds. I hurt zombie's ears yesterday. Even if he's even asked for it. Mm. So now we know if all the steak fills all your health. Hmm. Too bad, zombie. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone here is so nice to me. Just the nicest. 
<laughs> uh, my singing is legendary. It's on par with Mariah Carey, I guess you could say. <laughs> Zombie, you can't cry. No, you'll cry of tears of joy. Okay, okay, calm down there, Lindsay. I do think it's that since all you <laughs> folks are up there and I'm alone, you no know, one can hear me. It's not like I'm screaming it either. <laughs> I mean, what do you expect me to do when you listen to literally hundreds of anime songs or are listening to anime? Oh, yeah, I don't know if I ever told you guys. Maybe one day. That's only if you're interested in how I listen to anime at work. Cause I'm just the smartest little boy on the planet. <laughs> My diaphragm is about the size of a skyscraper, hmm. so I can see. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mmm, my ding ding dong. Mmm. Ooh, you touched my tie la la. Mmm, my ding ding dong. Alright, fine then. Here, if you don't, if you guys don't want to hear me sing, then I guess we're gonna have, we're gonna have to do a, a tier list then, if uh, if they allow it. Uh, you yeah, have the tier list to allow, but I mean like the um. Okay, hold on. <laughs> Here's the spoilers. I got a pillow for if I ever collab with anyone. Yeah, if I ever collab with anyone. <laughs> I don't know what you're calling beautiful, the song or the pillow. <laughs> but this this pillow <laughs> it it's for my guests. If I ever have a like I said a what's it called? A collab, I'm gonna give them this pillow. And so they don't have to be alone. Here's my pillow. No, 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 no. Oh yeah, right, and yeah. Yeah, let me get that started. <laughs> What shall you whisper me about, though? This I know. The pillow? <laughs> oh, was it online? Yeah, I'm like, I need to make this bad boy bigger. Make sure I keep an eye on that health bar. Um. Oh, yeah, you don't, you don't have to worry about that. Yeah. Yeah, just go to whisper me about it. I'm down for it whenever. No, get out of here. Alright. I'll be happy to. I'm open to anybody. <laughs> just, rem just remember. I'm still not the nicest guy. I love to make a lot of jokes. 
Lindsay can. <laughs> she'll, she'll assure you. I'm nice, but my humor... It's not exactly the nicest. <laughs> I could be nicer. Is that right, Lindsay? <sighs> Isn't my humor, like, family-friendly? Alright, let's look for, uh, <laughs> Dead Rising. God dang that buzzer. See? That face says it all. Hmm. Alright, here we go. Dead Rising tier list. Coming from yours truly. Let me move my pillow of mocha out. Hold on. Sorry a bit. Indeed, zombie. Indeed. Oh, and we got nice alo- like, mommies to go with it. Perfect. Alright. Is everybody ready? Can I get a hoorah? A hoorah, hoorah! And- oh, excuse me. And don't get it wrong. This is my opinion, of course, but... So yeah, it's my opinion. Take it that way, too. <sighs> Hoorah! <laughs> no one said hoorah! <laughs> fine, fine. I get to it. I get it. Blah, blah, blah. Alright. Let's start with... Let's start from the very beginning, then we'll work our way down the list. So the first game, which is the one I'm playing right now, is Dead Rising 1. It's obviously S tier, you know what I'm saying? It's the first game, I think it was a launch title. <laughs> Thanks Shindakun. <laughs> oh, but it was a launch, I think it was a launch title, or an early title for the Xbox 360, so it's an old game. but has an original idea, you know, be, this game right here, being that you could dress up as however you want to, you're stuck in a cool mall, and, and you know, the whole George Romero Morbero, uh, movie crap, that whole controversy, I wouldn't talk about that, so don't worry about that. So anyways, it's a good game, the mechanics make sense, uh, the main character is awesome, Frank West, he's just your average guy who doesn't take mm. crap. And that's cool, you know, he isn't just a push around, go here, Frank, go there, Frank, go here, Frank. It's just, you do it on your time. And you're a photographer and you get PP or XP, you know, like, like the noobs say it. <laughs> but you get big PP when you take good pictures of good erotic pictures and stuff. You get it. So, anywho, Dead Rising 1 is fantastic. It could, if they had, if they had a remaster, and they added in like um, off the record type of like a um, creative assembling of parts. It would be like S S S tier if that's even possible. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's definitely top tier though. So let's continue onwards to the sequel. All right. Dead Rising 2 is definitely A tier. Hmm. Like it could have been just as good as. Dead Rising 1. And I'm not saying it's any worse. Like the the main character, awesome. Chuck Green, he's he's like the perfect other character to Frank West. Where Frank West is kind of like a he's a little snarky, but he could be serious when he needs to be, you know. But Chuck Green's I think he's more of the serious kind, but he kinda kinda says jokes here and there. What would you equate him to? Um Captain America maybe? I don't know. Oh, hold on. Let me make sure this thing doesn't turn off on me. Boop. Yeah, I need to move this around sometimes. Okay, back to the tier list. So anyways, it's a really good game too. I love playing it when it, uh, that one, if, that's how I learned about Dead Rising in the first place, actually. Um, I, uh, what's that? I think I was watching E3, you know, when you had Comcast. Hmm. And you go down the on-demand list, and you'll find the free things like Co Monkey, 
um, in Dead Rising. I think they had game trailers, and one of them was Dead Rising 2 and Fallout New Vegas. Two awesome games, you know? <laughs> and both of them changed my life. I love them. But anywho, you get the gist. This game's really good, but the blood, it's more like pink paint. That's one of my gripes. The blood isn't really that good looking, and um, they at least added a new cool feature, which is splicing your weapons. Like, a, let's say you get gems and a flashlight, you can mix those together and get yourself a lightsaber, basically. So that's cool. See, that's kind of, now that's kind of the whole Dead Rising stick now. You know, making combo weapons. So yeah, Dead Rising 2 is definitely high up there. It's a great hmm. game. And I love it. Now let's get to the next game on the list. Which I'm stupid because I forgot something. The best game of them all. Dead Rising Chop to Your <laughs> Okay, okay. This is before Dead Rising 2. So I forgot to add this to this. But... <sighs> so I would... I never played it. No, I think I did play it. Hmm. I didn't have it. It wasn't my game. I think I went over a friend's house. Probably when I was like in middle school. So probably like 10 years ago, let's say. I don't know. Like early 2010 era. And he, I had, I think, the original Dead Rising. <laughs> but then he had the Wii version, which is chop to drop, which is, you know, a big downgrade. The Wii is not as strong as 360, obviously. And you could tell because... <laughs> <laughs> they block off like most of the mall. You're limited on what you can do. They reuse the Resident Evil 4 assets. Like straight up, like you can see the animations that Leon does when he reloads a pistol. It it's like an entirely different game, kind of. They add this thing called odd jobs, which is like weird side gigs. I think you get I think you make money in there. Because and one of the um the psychopaths hmm. Cletus, I think that's his name. He's like a gun shop guy. He looks like a bear with his beard. In the main game, he's just that a psychopath. But in that game, I think you're able to save him or you have to save him. And then he becomes the gun seller and you could buy the guns from him, like your weapons and stuff. <laughs> so yeah, it it did what it could with what it had, but it didn't need to exist. You know what I mean? So I, it's not a D rank because it at least tries to do a little something, but it's definitely not worth it if you have the original Dead Rising. It's like the difference between drinking uh, Mountain Dew, Baja Blast, and then going instead of drinking that and the best drink of all time, you decide to drink like <laughs> sink water with a little bit of Powerade splashed in there. You know what I mean? And a spritz of Mountain Dew. It's not worth it. So, anyways. Now that this hot trash fire is in there, I never played off the record. Don't forget about the health bar. Yeah, it's <laughs> the health bar. I, I, how does the health bar look again? Hold on. Give me a moment. I forgot how it looked like inside. Hmm. Hold on. Dead. Ah, come on. Um, chop till you drop. And then there's the mobile game. <laughs> Let's see the health bar. Isn't it like a straight up normal health bar too? Just like that? It doesn't have the, the blocks like how we do right down here. So yeah, folks. Oh, Isabella is definitely one of the hot- She was probably one of my top video game crushes back then. You know, she had me looking up stuff, and there's some nice stuff. And then there's Jesse. Jesse's also. <gasps> yep, I am. I am indeed dying. Thanks for reminding me. I'll drink it when I'm at one health. <laughs> but anyways, yeah. There, the health. Let's say Chocolate Chelly <laughs> Drop is not a good game. Not really. Remind me when it's at like the edge of number two. So because I'll pay attention, but just so just in case, knowing my luck. And anyways, like I said, chop two drop, not exactly that good. Don't try it. It's like Diet Coke, Diet Coke is even more garbage. 
because we need normal coke and what's better normal coke is cherry coke and not even just cherry <laughs> coke the mexican restaurant cherry coke you know with the syrup too Ooh, with the real cherries you can't get any better than that anyways let's continue our rooms before i start going crazy hmm. uh dead rising 2 you already know what i said i think kate um i'm gonna have to make a new tier list hold on to make a new a new tier hold on Lindsay I to wish you I'm on the first bar because you don't want to waste your food you know because the, the drinks I have here all of them are basically max health so you don't want to really waste down two bars you know what I mean I'm paying attention don't worry mostly <laughs> okay but anyways so I haven't played I, what's I call case zero <laughs> yes, everybody. I know. <laughs> I know! <laughs> You're all so kind. Knowing me, I probably am gonna forget. So, let me hear what I'm saying. So, K0, I never played. But to sum it up, before Dead Rising 2 came out, everyone was hyped up to hear that Dead Rising 2 was coming out in the first place. So they made like a weird small... You could, I guess you could just say it's before game DLC, pre-DLC. Hmm. Yeah. See, and the best thing would be to wait till my, um, my food bar is even like halfway or even lower. But you really don't want to risk that, especially with me. Because I could entirely forget that in the moment. <sighs> you sadistic bug. Hmm. There, everybody. Here. Look. Ooh, ooh, look. One health bar. <sighs> there, it's magic. <laughs> See, look. Max health. Woohoo! Yeah. Woo, woo, woo. Woo, woo, woo. <laughs> okay people okay now let's continue back onto the tier list before i forget my place okay i never played case west i mean case zero like i said it's like a prequel dlc that shows uh was it chuck green before the second game starts and that's kind of it that it shows you how the game assets work what you're getting yourself into it's pretty neat I seen the I don't think I seen the entire gameplay, but I seen the basics of it and it's it's just Dead Rising 2 but smaller. Hmm. So I haven't played it, but if I did, I'd give it right next to Dead Rising 2. Now let's continue. Here's a the funny thing. Oh wait, did Yeah, here's the DLC I think to um Dead Rising 2. I'll give this one S tier. And I would give it A tier. But this is this is why people okay listen up so this dlc to dead rising 2 you know it's called case west it's cool because it's literally frank west meaning chuck green that's awesome it's like when if spider-man met iron man but not the whole mcu bull crap it's just straight up like oh you're that other superhero aren't you you know it's like oh freak heck yeah that's awesome you know, and so I don't know. I don't know who you get to play as. I think you get to play as Chuck, but Frank is your partner. But you can play two players on it. But anyway, so you both uh, uncover a mystery or do what the heck you do. I don't think I played it, but I watched it entirely because I love the idea of these two meeting up. That that's really cool. So it's basically Dead Rising 2, but that cameo is just perfect. And I definitely, it's definitely S tier. And yeah, like I said, it's kind of my, my opinion, but 
Yeah. I think everyone loved the idea of Frank coming back. And I think it also made the developers think that too, because guess what's next on our list? Off the record. Yep. Just me, baby. Just me. Dead Rising 2, off the record, is a spin-off hmm. of Dead Rising 2. It's a what-if story. Like, it's it's a what-if Chuck Green was the main character and Frank West was. And so that's kind of it. Frank, in, in the first game, this one, Frank, uh, I think when he beat the game, spoilers, he's kind of like revered as a hero. Like, oh, that's cool. Woohoo, you know? But you get infected by zombies at the end, but you get like kind of like a cure, an antidote, kind of. But you got to take it every 24 hours, I believe. Zombrix. But anyways, so anywho. So in this game, he's washed up. He's 40. He thinks his name isn't really worth what it is anymore, you know? So he's like, I'm going to go to, um, what's that it's town called? Las Venteras? No, it's not San Andreas. Um... Fortune City. That's what they go. It's like hmm. a smaller Las Vegas, I guess you could say. So he goes there to redeem himself. So in Dead Rising 2, the original with Chuck Green, I think you're a motorcyclist and you have your daughter Kay and she's infected and you gotta you know, give her Zombrex every 24 hours at the exact same time. You get the gist of it. And you gotta find Zombrex and it's not easy and blah blah blah. So in this game, like I said, it's him. You have to get Zombrex for yourself. And so it's everything there. I don't know if they fixed the blood though. I'm not sure of that. I played it, but I don't remember. I don't think they did fix the blood, sadly. But you're Frank, and you get the same voice actor. I forgot his name. Sorry, TJ. T. T. D. I don't remember his name, sadly. But he, he's awesome. You gotta love. Look, you can hear Frank's voice right now. Hello? Anyone there? Hello? Anyone there? Hello? Yeah, so Katie was annoying, so I let her die every time. <laughs> yeah, I was not like the TJ Rotolo. Yeah, respect to him, man. And I can see your pain with Katie, so, uh, zombie. It's. <laughs> <laughs> ah, boy. <laughs> Wait, isn't that your goal, though? Because you're a zombie? I thought you are an elf, but you said you're with your brothers. So, okay, then. He's working with the enemy team. <laughs> Next thing he's gonna say, let them bite me. <laughs> okay, so, uh, where was I? So, yeah. Mad respect for TJ Rotolo. 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 Ratolo. Sorry for but butcher butchering the name. Dang it. Good game. You get some awesome psychopaths. Ooh, and then Whitney Chang in Dead Rising 2 is freaking hot. I mean, not even. Don't even deny it. <laughs> of course. Your zombell. Okay, okay, what was that? Yeah, you see how I always get myself off task? God dang it. So, uh, <laughs> great game. I recommend if you play, if you have to choose between Dead Rising 2 and Off the Record, play Off the Record. It's really good. And then there's secret, a secret psychopath in there. And here, I'm giving you five second spoilers. If you don't want to hear me, you can mute me. And I'll, I'll nod my hair like this again. All right, here's a spoiler in one, two, three, four, five. All right, so one of the psychopaths is Chuck Green. You know, the main character of Dead Rising 2. And it's because in the beginning of the second game, when uh, the zombies start coming and taking over, you look around and you think she's, you know, your daughter Katie's eaten, but she's hiding. Well, in this case scenario, well, he loses Katie and she dies, she gets eaten. So he starts carrying on toy doll with her, and you get it, he's not right in the head. And so you have to kill him. Yeah, it's kind of, it kind of sucks, but whatever. You know, it was a cool easter egg, kind of. Spoiler over. Wait, <laughs> recommend playing this one if you have to play a sequel. 
Chuck Green's awesome too, so don't get that wrong. Alright, next on the list is Dead Rising 3. I don't know if I should give Dead Rising 3 a B or a C. Um, here, I'll give it a B and I'll explain why, okay? But I'll probably change my mind and change it to C, but we'll see what I say. So basically, Dead Rising 1 was awesome, right? It set, it set the principle of what should be happening. Uh, Dead Rising 2 started the whole... You know, the mixing your weapons and stuff, and that's really awesome. And then, so, you had a perfect plan. You had everything set up, and now you just need to make it look better, and you're good, right? Make an awesome character, or bring back an old character, whatever the heck you want to do. Hmm. And this is where they kind of dropped the ball. <laughs> I mean, there's a lot of things that happen, and I won't get into it, because that would literally take, literally take too long. But let's just say, um, the game... Dead Rising 3 was meant for both PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360, but then they, uh, I think they made it Xbox One exclusive out of nowhere than uh, Microsoft. Hmm. And then, so I don't know, so a lot of things happened basically, and it became a disaster kind of. It's not that bad though. So, when considering what's next, and you guys who know Dead Rising know what's coming next. So buckle up and pair your buttholes because we're going right in raw. No lube included. <laughs> you guys are gonna be sore for a month when I'm finished. So anywho. Dead Rising 3, it kinda lost the main point. It's like so there's a three-day timer, right? For a reason. In all the other Dead Rising games, it's just kind of the basic point 72 hours survive blah 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 get the best ending possible the end that's it and there are three they kind of make i think they make it seven days long and you could easily finish the thing within three days two days i don't remember what so yeah it's they give you too much time the graphics are amazing for when it you know the time they look really good i like the um yeah, the graphics look great. Okay, Shinda, hold up. We'll get to that trash fire in a second. <laughs> oh, and that thing doesn't come from humans. That's fecal matter from a garbage species that doesn't exist in our universe. Because that thing is just... Alright, so... Oh, dear God. The graphics are great. The story was... Eh. Duh. Wait, Shinda, I'll get there in a second. <laughs> we, we all can talk crap about it at the same time. Just wait. Alright, so, great looking. Story of meh. You know, Nick is kind of cool. I mean, he's, like, to sum him up... Oh, wait, I didn't even explain Dead Rising 2's story. Dead Rising 2 with, with Chuck. You save your daughter, and you gotta survive until, I think, the army comes, or a helicopter comes. A lot of things happen. You find out who set the zombie apocalypse there, blah, blah, blah. And then you escape best ending. And you save Katie and, you know, betrayal and blah, blah, blah. Whitney Chang dies though. That makes me mad. But anyways, and then off the record, um, same scenario, I think. It's just you don't have the daughter. You're you, your friend. Okay, now Dead Rising 3 story. You're Nick Ramos. I think you have a tattoo on your neck for some reason. I think you're number 13. And then, I guess all those people were infected with the virus, and they're gonna... Yeah, that's kind of it. You're supposed to be... Like, Carlitos from this, from Dead Rising 1, wanted to screw over America since they screwed over his village with zombies. So he set all these people infected around the country to infect it, and you get the scenario of a zombie apocalypse. I don't think it happened, though. But... Nick is number 13, but it's like, he, I think he's immune. Oh, he's number 12. So he's number 12, and he's immune, right? He's literally straight up immune to the zombie virus. But here's the catch to it. It makes no sense, because on Dead Rising 1, at the end, you see the list. And number 12, I think, is a woman. Straight up. It's a woman. It's not even Nick. So... 
<laughs> they retcon that thing out, and you're like, why? That's kind of stupid, you know? But just, you didn't, like, come on! <laughs> so that's stupid, but whatever. So, you're Nick, I think you're a mechanic, uh, you survive in an entire city, Los Perdidos, I think that's what they call it. So it's supposed to be kind of like, Los Angeles, I believe? I don't take my word on that. Um, Ooh, my health bar is halfway almost done, huh? <laughs> uh, what did he do? So, you just fight... Are they... They're called psychopaths, right? I think. So you fight psychopaths. They're not really as good as the past games. You know? And, um... Yeah, that's kind of it. I think you're able to combine vehicles, and... That's kind of the only special thing on here. There's some cool costumes, I'll give them that. But... Hmm. The weapons, that's where they kind of messed it up. Like, yeah, you can mix weapons, I think. But it saves them in a locker. And, yeah, you know, I can understand it, but that's just... That's not Dead Rising. <laughs> like, they made it too... They made it an easier Dead Rising for, like, the general public. You know what I'm saying? Like, what game... Like, Monster Hunter. Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate is the first Monster Hunter I ever had when I bought my 2DS XL. And it was awesome. But it was like, it was complicated because you have to get all these things, and you have to do certain things with them, and blah blah blah. And then here comes Monster Hunter World, which I love. Don't get it wrong, I love it. It's awesome. It's better. In the fact that, you know, graphics wise, Mia could actually look around with the other analog stick for once. Dear God, me and my friend are so happy when that happened. <laughs> but, anyways, um. The stick, it, um, no, not the stick, Monster Hunter World is easier. It's more for everyone in the end. So they take out, like, the, the harvesting, I think, the ore, the, you have to buy pickaxes, I think, to iron ore. You get the gist. They made it easier in the end. So that's what they kind of did with Dead Rising 3, and they kind of, they kind of dropped it. Made it kind of, like, bland, um, sp not spoiled, um, just hmm. not good tap water. It's not it's not bad, but it's not good at all. You know, there's nothing really too good about it besides the graphics compared to the last games. The blood looks amazing compared to the other ones, but you know. Whatever. Alright, and then uh that's kinda it. That's kinda just that. You're immune, you're in a zombie apocalypse, you're trying to escape. Oh, you like a girl. I forgot what they called her in the first place. That hmm. uh, doesn't matter. Uh, later on, you find out, I think her dad comes, and then he's like, Hey, you, what are you doing with my daughter? And you're like, oh my god, because guess who it is? It's Chuck Green, meaning... <laughs> well, zombie, I don't know if you know it, there's a comic called Deceased. It's DC Universe if it got infected with zombie virus, but instead of actually being bitten and stuff, it's more of a, if you used the internet, like, if you go on your phone, anything with the screen, I think, you can get, you get infected with it. So that's how everyone got infected real quick. Yeah, it's a, it's a pretty good story. But anyways, um... Uh, what was... What was the thing I was talking about? Dang it, um... Um... Where was I? Oh yeah, Chuck Green is the dad of that girl, like, and then uh, she didn't tell you her real name, and her real name is Katie, the girl you've been taking care of in Dead Rising 2. So you're like, oh my god, it's Chuck Green, he's older, and he has a handlebar mustache, and oh my god, he's cool. Ah, it's Chuck Green, ah! You know, it was pretty awesome. Uh, yeah, that's about it. <sighs> really, really nothing else to really praise about it. The DLC sucks. It's not gamma radiation, it's, uh, it was like a, it's like an infection through technology, or something like that, like, they infect you through technology, it was something like, it wasn't about radiation though, I don't think. Oh, but anyways, yeah, Dead Rising 3, meh. You know, yeah, you're right, it is meh. So, it's gonna definitely have to be C-ranked, it's just, nothing goes too good about it. I liked it though, I had fun when it came out with friends. But that's about it. Hmm. They had DLC, but I never played it, so whatever. 
Now, for the one everyone's been waiting for. Oh, zombie. I know what you mean, but I don't think it's that. I don't know what they- I didn't read it, the DC's comics, but the, I forgot how they explained it, but you're probably right. I don't know. The Dead Rising 4 goes up here, on the S tier, and I'll give you good reason why. <laughs> it's a great game. No one just, uh, just understands it. I mean, here you are. Frank West. No, 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 scratch that. Hank East, as it clearly says on his door. You are Hank East. <laughs> and there's this dumb chick, because you're a teacher, and this retarded woman, this, this dumb piece of garbage, she, uh, she reminds me of, um, what's her name? Isn't Amanda from Invincible? <sighs> uh, just like that. Just, just as annoying. I, I hated her. I think they call her Vic. I hated her. <laughs> She's just annoying. Oh, but anyways. Oh, yeah, it's a great game. Oh, oh, um. So you don't look at all like Frank West because you're Hank East. The voice actor, not TG Ro Rota Rotolo or whatever. I don't know who what this guy's name was, but he sounds nothing like him. He sounds like an older grizzled Spider-Man type of character. Um, he doesn't wear anything at all, like Frank. Oh, but that's because he's Yankee, right? And yeah, it's it's a great game. You could combine so many amazing things, you know. Shoot, we have a 72-hour timer, right? Uh, wrong. Oh, so is there a timer at all then? Is it like four days? Is it seven days like at least Dead Rising 3? <laughs> nope. There is no time limit because it's easier, right? And that's what we all wanted. We wanted it to be easier. Okay, now let's talk about the weapons. They're pretty cool. Um. Okay, now moving on. Uh. Cars weren't really a thing in the other games, but this- Oh, it was Dead Rising 3, yeah. But this one, oh, yep. Somehow, Hank East- I mean, Frank, no, I mean, Hank. Oh, yeah, he, uh, he's somehow a mechanic now, and he could mix together cars and paturks and- <laughs> Completely logical. Uh, I know, zombie. Can you believe that? But that's that's for that's for the better, right? Right? None of us wanted it, right? It, it was too stressful. I mean, who wants a game where it's all about time limits? It's not like it helped with the difficulty or was playing the game, right? <laughs> okay, people. I have a secret to tell you. I might not have been entirely honest. This game. It goes in a list that doesn't even exist on here. Hmm. It just... I even have to make an entirely freaking new list. I have to make a new list now. <sighs> God dang it, why does that always happen? Cheerless for this piece of garbage. My bad. Let me, uh. <laughs> Let me, uh, move my Xboxing a little so you can see what that says right there. Perfect. Do you guys just, do you guys think this is a fitting place? Is this, is this not what it is, right? I think it's fitting. This game is a freaking trash fire. I was kind of excited when I first heard of this thing, like... <sighs> so Dead Rising 3 wasn't that good, right? And when I heard there was Dead Rising 4 coming out, and it was Frank West, and he's back in Willamette... <laughs> nah, he was just trying to warn you, throw that thing in the trash, and like, burn it. Burn that disc alive if it was alive. Oh, like even that weird, disgusting game, um, Satan, Sad Satan, 
that thing's even better than this piece of garbage right here. Just... Uh, oh, don't look up that game if you don't know what it is. Don't. It's not worth it. <laughs> but, um... This game is so bad. Just... It's not Dead Rising. Food? Like, here. Look like here, in this game, any other game, you have to get, like, all the things you collect, you have a certain <laughs> amount in your inventory, right? <laughs> William Ma, huh? <laughs> Hankies, my bud. Ah, oh, but, uh, like I said, it's just, it's, you guys, you both of you know how bad this game is. It was just terrible. There's no point to play it. It literally frustrates me thinking how I was excited to see Frank back here. They could, they, they literally just had one job. And it was done for them. Dead Rising 1! They even had Frank from freaking off the record, his model on there. He could have just worked off of that thing. They could have just... Like, really? Are you serious? Are you kidding me? They didn't even make him look like Frank West. He looks nothing like him. Like, he looks nothing like him at all. Nothing. He, it's not the same character. Um, his voice actor's not even the same voice actor. Because they just didn't want to. They wanted new voice actors. Um, the mall. Right? It's legendary. Everyone knows this mall if you play Dead Rising. It's kind of like a staple. You know what I'm saying? Like how New York has the um, skyscraper. Or what's it called? The Empire State Building. It's just... It's supposed to... Everyone knows what it is! Zombie? It was a little cool. But that DLC will definitely not get it out of the... <laughs> shittiest piece of shit ever to be shit if it's shit. Tearless. You got that? No, no, no. But yeah, it's just bad. The mall isn't even the same mall anymore. They just... It's just terrible. It's, it's disgusting how bad it is. Like, I, I want to puke on this thing, and my puke is even worth more than this, that. Ugh. Look, they could... I read... I'm gonna tell you two things right now, people. First thing. To make it not as... It would have been bad still. Trash fire. But it wouldn't be as bad as it was if they literally just named him someone else entirely. Made him a different character. A different mall. Literally, that's all they had to do to say, let's say, let's call him, um, Jason Voorhees for all I care. <laughs> no, let's call him, uh, hmm. <laughs> I know. <laughs> that's kind of it, though. It just, you guys know how bad it is. It's frustrating me how bad it is right now. I was so excited to see Frank again. And to be disappointed with that medio not even mediocre, below mediocre garbage. It doesn't even work right. Hmm. The game is just... Ugh. It's jacked. It is indeed jacked. <sighs> yeah, Jack. Let's call him Jack. You're right. Jack Frost. Jack... Jack Frack. Wait, let's call him Jack Frack. <laughs> Jack Frack. It, he goes to a mall, right? In this mall, um, he's not a photographer, he's an inv investigator, right? And so he has a... Not a camera, but he has like a... A weird camera thing, let's say camera for now, that's not a camera. That has those different filters on it. So you, you can see how he would get it at that point. You know, he's probably like special investigation or something. So he has a big thing that he could scan. So it's kind of cool. And you can see why he'd be investigating it, you know? Maybe he's sent there to see what happened in the first place. Vic, she's cut from the story. I hate her. I hate her more than Frank. Hmm. Or Hank, whatever the heck his name is. But anyways, Jack. If it's, you know, the green jacket's really cool. I like the jacket. And, you know, it's a different character. It's, I mean, he makes stupid jokes, but that's not Frank. They could easily change it just like that, and it would have been a little bit better. Not better, but tolerable. And then the mall, we'll call it, not Willamette Mall, we'll call it, uh, Will, uh, Will, Williams Mall. <laughs> William Mall, Williams Mall, yeah, we just call it that for now. 
Jack Rack and Williams Mall. See what I'm saying? Just, it's not gonna be good, but at least it would have gave them a little something to work off of. They just banked off the nostalgia to at least get it selling in. They messed up. Just, hmm. Yeah, it's just that bad. I can't even tell you how bad it is because everyone knows how bad it is. It's disgustingly bad. And that's all. That's all for my TED Talk, people. Hopefully you enjoyed it and have a good day. <laughs>
going off of math, I think we're barely one fifth of the way done. So we're one and a half hours in. Mm. I would think five hours is what I'm supposed to go through, but. more when my uh, health is low and then I'll head out and while we wait um I I don't need to go pee though so I think I'm gonna I don't know what I'm gonna do I was gonna do something was I gonna drink something hmm. my mouth is foamy because it's dry I'm not hungry. Uh... Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> it, it caught me off guard, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> what was it? Simp, and then it said mayonnaise on an Escalade. <laughs> on the escalator and I was like oh wow that's a surprise I didn't even know that what the hell what <laughs> zombie it says there's two people watching but I don't think Shinda I don't know if Shinda's here is he here Manny's on an escalator. Yep. Maui. <laughs> I can't tell who's on, who's watching or not. How do you check? Because I don't know how to check it. go watch someone else. That's okay. I hope she had fun. Yeah, so Lindsay left to go watch someone else. That's okay. I hope she had fun. then. Lindsay left to go watch someone else. That's okay. I hope she had <laughs> Alright folks, so everyone that's watching right now, whoever you are, whatever you are, it doesn't matter. Because right now is a big change. We've been in here for literally an hour and a half today. But that's all about to change. When I lose this last health bar, I'm gonna drink... <laughs> I'm gonna drink... I'll drink an orange juice. I'll drink this orange juice and then we'll head out. We're gonna head out to the next area because I have enough space. We gotta, we gotta catch them all, Pokemon. I can't go to remind me to never go to the cafeteria or um, or Wonderland Plaza because I will accidentally go to people. Man, it just it's time to cook. Frick out of here. Yeah. Let me check the bathrooms real quick, because I don't know if they left food in here or not. Yeah, I don't I don't know the rules. And so do I I guess there's a feeling that I'm thinking of 
he wouldn't get this from any other guy I just wanna tell you how I'm feeling Gotta make you understand Never gonna give you up Never gonna let you down Never gonna run around and desert you Never gonna make you cry Never gonna say goodbye Never gonna tell a lie And hurt you Uh oh And now is when it goes dark <laughs> Of course We don't know if there's any psychopaths here people Is that a shotgun I hear? Please don't tell me it is I don't think anyone's here. Good. Um, I don't know where the next psychopath should be around this time. I didn't even see what time it was, sadly. Should I go outside or to the entrance plaza, people? I'll go outside and see if anyone's here. And if not, then I'll go to, uh, I'll go to the entrance plaza through here again. But I can't, I can't go through the cafeteria. I don't trust it. I hope it's safe enough to go outside. Down, so. <gasps> What's that light over there? Don't tell me that's the truck. Oh no. No, 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 no. Please, no. Please, don't tell me. Don't tell me. No. No, 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 no. No. It's them. It's them. It's the truck. Dear God. They're here, people. I didn't know they did those idiots here. What are they doing? Why are they here? Oh my god. The... Oh my god, it's them. The, um... The truck... The truck trio. Remember the ones with the minigun I think is on it? And then they drive around the jeep and they hit you? I see him over there in the truck. But... You really don't want me to test my luck with them. <laughs> like I don't, I don't really. Have, I do. There, there is the gun store right there. <sighs> I, I really, really hope I don't, you know, mess up. Okay, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna have to go. <laughs> We're gonna have to go to the gun store, people, so we can take out these folks. We're gonna have to get like a shotgun and a couple snipers. Please don't, please don't uh, break on the game. Check in here, see if they have a psychopath yet. Oh God, I barely have like two weapons. No, I don't see anyone. Oh yeah, I forgot I had food in here. That boy's not here at this time. Alright, people, we're gonna have to get through. This is gonna be a nightmare. Oh god! Oh no, it's a survivor. Who is it though? Do you hear him? There's another one! Is that a shotgun I just knew? I just heard it! No! There's a shotgun! Where is he though? Help me. 
don't tell me he's in the shotgun area. Come on. Come on. Yep. It's Brett. Who's Brett again? Oh no. I think it's cute when they eat their hands like that. <laughs> and they look so stupid. It's cute. I think a fruit should give me six health or yeah, okay. I'm gonna have to charge in at this idiot. <sighs> Is there anything I can use? I don't think so. Take it up. I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna step it up a notch. <laughs> no! You idiot! Well, we killed another survivor. Right, is there any food in here? Probably not. As much as I don't want to, I'm gonna have to, um... How much does the, um, Japanese radish give me? How much health? Is it one health, or is it... I know it's one health, but would it be three health, or would it be six health, like an apple? I don't know. Um... Yeah. Free. I'm gonna have to... No, zombie, not your foot. I need to know how much does huh. Japan is what is this called? God dang it, not the magazine. Japanese radish. How? Let me look it up, hold on. Hmm. 
Okay, so it gives one health, I think. So, I think... Oh no, it looks like I have to stay in bed now. As the, I wasn't already doing that. <laughs> oh, man. Alright. Alright. I got space for three weapons. I have a shotgun included, so... Get another shotgun. A sniper. And then other sniper. Alright, zombie. We're heading out for war. You understand that? I just killed the um, survivor right now, too. Right here. He has to be <laughs> I killed him with the stepladder. Oh, what's that? I got a five day survivor achievement. Boy! 69,420. Are you talking about the people in Wilmet? Look, I got that achievement. Woo! We're two more days away, baby! Two more days! I mean, four more hours, which is exactly what I said. Oh my god. So he's going to see you later. Oh, you're leaving, zombie? Alright then, I'll see you later. <laughs> Look, five days is active. Oh, uh, okay. What was that thing you said? <laughs> they have the Amazon to be switched. Yes, or whatever. Okay, there they are. I'm gonna have to kill the driver, I think, right? I killed one of them. Okay. I think I killed him. So there should be two boxes. Now let's kill this guy. God dang it, zombie. There, zombie. It's cute. I killed all three of them. Woo! And I get a trap too. I killed them. Where's the food? I'm the one who finished them off, bro. No, it was a waste of ammo. Well, at least they're out for the count. That's good enough for me. 
Let's go commit man, genocide, don't you agree? Sucks though. Why didn't give me any food? I'm the one who killed them. What was the point? <laughs> We work together, no one else but you. It ain't what you think it is, can you pound? Somebody say, hey, we want some sauce. Somebody say, hey, we want some zombie. I could just imagine hearing some Duke Nukem quotes. I have a bad case of diarrhea. Do 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 do. I left my law broken because I am afraid to show that I'm a man. Do 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 do. Why wash your hands out of here? You go dumb going poop. I mean, you're gonna poop again eventually. Do 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 do. Curse. Check. What am I doing out here? <laughs> yep. Okay, so that truck was a waste of time, dang it. But at least they're gone. I so it isn't a full waste of time. So whatever. Um How much food? I got enough food. Hehehe. <laughs> 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 do 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 <laughs> Wait, hold on. Can you hear this? And they push pause. You're the tube. And we got we can. This is why, zombie. I'm here to chew gum. That's one doomed space marine. I need a saline enema for my hard shits. Time to squeeze my own balls. Time to drink a beer. I'm taking a bath. I'm the freaking Duke, baby. Hail to King Baby. They're out of Snapple at Walgreens. I found a gun. It's time to suck ass and drink cum. And I'm all out of cum. My wife wants a divorce. I'm Duke Nukin. 
Uba Stang, I won't wash my hands. Twelve men with bats are gonna show up at my house and beat me to death. I've got a huge ass. I live in the bathroom and my friends visit me in the bathroom where I live. I'm shitting in my camo pants. I wanna dip my balls in it. Time to see a porn film. How do all those clowns fit into that little car? Okay, hold on. Hold on. <clears throat> I could do that. Or I could go to Nyan's video because she literally has like 10 minutes worth of it. And it has that funny music in the background that is do 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 do. I rather listen to that. Hey, nice cock, Thick, but not too flaccid. Perfect length. A nice 80 degree angle. I rate it at 8.5 out of 10. Good job, King. It's a super listener. I'm not memorizing the multiplication table. <laughs> I have a calculator, and my ass is fat. <laughs> Yo, I'm tired. Teacher would always be like, now you have to remember how to do this because you're not gonna be able to have a calculator with you at all times. You know what, teacher? Oh, fuck you, fuck you! I have, I have a fucking knowledge cell phone. I don't need to memorize shit. Heard of always hearing you nutted without me. What's good, bro? Those ill bastards circumcised me. It's funny that is, I don't think... I guess I just have to play the real ones. Me and my wife are in quarantine together, but it's okay because I love her and spending time with her, and actually I'm glad we can face this challenge together. When this is all over, I'm gonna take her to Applebee's again. I think she liked the fries there. Why isn't Chain Chomp a driver in Mario Kart? If they can play tennis, they can probably drive a car. Give them a chance. I think they're cute. Any female born after 1993 can't cook. All they know is McDonald's, charge they phone, twerk, be bisexual, eat hot chip and lie. Do 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 I guess that one you can't watch. I am not memorizing the multiplication table. I have a calculator and my ass is fat. <laughs> Yo, I'm tired of always hearing you <laughs> nutted without me. What's good, bro? Kino Fabino, you wanna dance? I'm gone. I'm gonna rip off your head and paint at the sight of blood. Those alien bastards circumcise me. I'm Duke Duke then. <laughs> I'm here to chew gum. 
That's one doomed space marine. I need a saline enema for my hard shits. Time to squeeze my own balls. Time to drink a beer. I'm taking a bath. I'm the freaking Duke, baby. Hail to King Baby. They're out of Snapple at Walgreens. I found a gun. It's time to suck ass and drink cum. And I'm all out of cum. My wife wants a divorce. I'm Duke Nukin. Uba Stank. I won't wash my hands. Twelve men with bats are gonna show up at my house and beat me to death. I've got a huge ass. I live in the bathroom and my friends visit me in the bathroom where I live. I'm shitting in my camo pants. I wanna dip my balls in it. Time to see a porn film. How do all those clowns fit into that little car? So no head. I'm shitting. I'm also pissing. I don't know if my Denny's waiter is going to get my check or if I need to take it to a cashier. I'm gonna piss in the toilet. I'm lost at Schlitterbahn in Dallas. How about a taste of my crotch? I'm getting evicted. <laughs> the cookies at Subway are too big for me to finish in one sitting. I'm gonna suck my own dick. I'm King Baby, gotta hail me. I'm going to... Oh, bed. Wait until I put bullets in this gun. Then I'll shoot you with the aforementioned gun. I've done a pee-pee. Dad, I don't want to mow the lawn, I want to play Nintendo. I'm the King Baby, hail to me, the King Baby. I'm here to chew gum. I have the proper amount of gum for this situation. I'm here to kick ass and chew gum, and I'm going to put the aforementioned gum no, on the zombie. underside of a table I because I, I lost the little foil that comes with the gum. I'm here to gun. I'm going to take my wife to Applebee's. I'm Duke Nukem. I'm the guy from video games. I'm gonna Google porno. The pants I bought at Old Navy don't accommodate my huge combat boots, and I'm going to have to return them this Saturday. I had a dream about kissing Master Halo from Halo. What I've just put in my gun are bullets. Somebody peed on the seat, so now I have to wipe off the seat before I sit down. Those damn alien bastards upper-deckered me. No, it's not erectile dysfunction, I'm just tired. My doctor recommended I get a colonoscopy. Me forever. Do nuke them. I'm here to lick ass. I'm here with no stated purpose regarding that which I'm going to kick or chew, and the status of my inventory is irrelevant. Halo 2 the King, baby. Google.com Crash Bandicoot Nude Mods. <laughs> Having diarrhea in the bar restroom with the exposed toilet hot, refills though, my game. health meter. I'm here to duke nukes and nuke dukes, and I'm all out of nukes. I've shitted my camo pants. I'm the friggin' duke. Oh! Oh damn, I caught erectile dysfunction. I'm gonna spend 30 minutes in airport security unlacing and taking off my huge combat boots. Time to pee in a bottle. I'm trying to jerk off. I'm gonna rip off your head and faint at the sight of blood. I'm having sex with Santa. Duke Nukem is currently in critical condition at the hospital, being treated for the cardiogenic shock into which he fell after he saw fan art depicting BJ Blazkowicz's penis as slightly larger than Duke's. Please keep Duke in your thoughts and prayers tonight. Time to get in a car accident. I'm Duke Nuke them. Those alien bastards circumcised me. Throwing cigs at this man's ass. P-O-V-X. Spin.
The line at the DMV is longer than I expected and I need to pee, but I don't want to lose my spot in line. Time to drive under the influence. What? My camouflage pants are not camouflaging my diarrhea. I'm gum. I'm gonna get the death penalty. Time to think about the babes. My friend Rick is having his birthday party at Dave and Buster's. I've been banned from Dave and Buster's. I'm gonna pass a kidney stone. I hope the guy at CVS doesn't recognize that I'm gonna use this prepaid Visa card to buy porn online. I'm Dukum. No. Those alien bastards lowered my no, sperm count. Like my Starbucks coffee was too hot and my tongue got burned. My teacher docked me a letter grade for copying from Jeff Carlyle's algebra test. The babes are trending. Duck Nuckum. Quick. I am replenishing my supply of gum so I don't run out before the next time I need to kick ass and chew gum. I'm here to kick. I'm gonna eat the rotted asshole of a roadkill skunk and down it with beer. Poop brother DN. I'm gonna shove your hand up my own asshole. I've been sent to the principal's office. I'm not gonna wash my hair. <laughs> Time to be in a video game. This is me, Duke Nukem Quotes. Time to research a vasectomy. I'm gonna metamorphosize into a disgusting little bug. Duke Nukem Forever Ultimate Toilet Compilation 2013. Damn, I'm goo. Me and my wife are quarantined in the arch room. Those alien bastards held out a foot like they wanted me to kick it, but at the last second they pulled it back and the momentum carried me onto my back and it embarrassed me. They'll pay for this. My island has orange trees, but I wanted peaches. Family Guy Funny Moments. Do Nuam. Find some popcorn, a vibrator, and a condom. Hail to the baby. Time to do one steroid. I live inside the PlayStation. I'm gonna maintain an erection. It's not time to kick ass. It will be time to kick ass yes. later, but Carl. right now I am going Carl. to bed. Ten years ago we had Steve Jobs, Bob Hope, and Johnny Cash. Now we have no jobs, no hope, and no cash. Please don't let Kevin Bacon die. Me forever. Time to smoke one cigarette and fall asleep on the couch. Those alien bastards photographed me in a compromising position and are threatening to sell the photograph on the internet. Time to nurse a baby bird I found in my yard back to health and then tearfully set it free once it reaches healthy adulthood. It's time to suck ass. I'm going to dig a hole and live inside the hole. I cannot wait for them to reopen Walgreens. I'm Duke Nukem. I've racked up $77.39 in overdue book fees to the East Rutherford, New Jersey Public Library. Time to masturbate to the 1984 Sports <laughs> Illustrated swimsuit issue. I'm watching the babes. Technically, this is just water vapor, so I should be allowed to use it indoors. It's time to ask. X, 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 D, U, K, 3, N, U, K, 3, V, X, X, X.
Lara Croft, nude code. Tomb Raider 2, nude code. Lara Croft, naked code. Lara Croft, no clothes code. Lara Croft, nude code. Tomb Raider 3, nude code. Blockbusters still open. Tomb Raider 2, nude code. Chewing gum. I have forgotten what those alien bastards did to me. They're gonna put me in in-school suspension. I'm here. Pig cop. Pig cop can refer to Pig cop. DN 3D. Enemy in Duke Nukem 3D. Pig cop. DNF. Enemy in Duke Nukem forever. Pig cop. DNTTK. Enemy in oh, Duke Nukem. Time to sadly. kill. Pig cop. DNMP. Enemy in Duke Nukem Manhattan Project. Pig cop. Variants in Duke Nukem Total Meltdown Magnum P.I.G. Pig in Address Zombie Pig Cop It's time to get nude and be outdoors Time to uncontract herpes My mom won't rent me Terminator 2 and I'm gonna throw a fit in the middle of Hollywood video I'm gonna hit the water with my tinkle this time the parents of the children at the park who call me Poop Nukem are gonna receive some stern emails. Oh, sorry, I'm waiting for a stall. I need to go number two. I know that one's open, but whoever was in there before peed on the seat, and I don't want to touch their pee, but you can go ahead if you want. So hungry. Need to find my wife and head to P.F. Chang's. I live in a trash can. My mom is taking me to Toys R Us. Please do not honk at me. I'm going to wait for the light to turn green to turn. I do not feel good about turning on red, even if it is legal to do so. Time to have missionary sex with my wife. It's time to pee blood. It's time to learn how to read. Damn, I leaked. Time to smoke one cigarette. Damn, Daniel. Back at it again with the white vans. Alright, let's see the next one. Wait, I caught up? What? What do I do now? Dame, 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 oh my no. God, my <laughs> weekly series of dubbing tweets from the popular Twitter account Duke Nukem Quotes has caught up to the aforementioned Duke Nukem Quotes and will now right. patiently wait for more quotes. <laughs> <laughs> that was indeed a nightmare. Just the dummy dummy. <laughs> we need to look around for more psychopaths or survivors. Sweet silence.
you. I needed that. God dang it. <laughs> it's time to chew gum and swing swords by them all out gum and swords. Where should I head next, though? Um... <laughs> like, freak. Freak, freak, freak. Where do I go next? Because I think I'm running out of food. I have four items. No, I got one, two. I got one, two, three. Wait, one, two, three, four, five. Wait, one, two. One, two, three, four, five, six. I have six food items. And they're all for max health, I believe. Alright, I'm gonna have to still look around for some psychopaths. <laughs> I can't go in there. I definitely don't trust going inside. Picture. 
kind of tempted to go check out the parking lot, but I probably shouldn't. Do 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 damn it! Ah, do 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 damn 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 damn! Oh, look, there's Larry, whoever the heck that is. Oh, it's that that guy. Hold on, I need to know. Do I slice down? I don't slice down. No, that's just a paint. Can all right. So tempted to go and 
Let's just go in there. <laughs> but I know that's just a disaster. Yep, they both left at the same time too, zombie. And that one viewer is you, right? Is it, uh... Freak. Is there anybody in here? Okay, see, 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 Oh. Wee wee wee. You ever kill us with any kind of sad? They're right. For some fresh blood to kill, because no one wants to meet. Oh, lady. Oh. All right. I wonder if there's any survivors out here. After the meat, she's out there some of my my teddy bear meat. She wanted some of my mixed stuff and muffin. We gotta check out Fresco Plaza now. You know, Zombie Jessie is also in here. <laughs> she appears on the um, the rooftop where I fought Otis. survivors somewhere but they don't like spawning with me apparently because <laughs> I take too long Check the roof one more time. Nah, I'll, I'll just go check entrance plaza, then I'll go to Alfresco Plaza, and then I'll come right back. POV, you read POV as POV and not POV. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, freak. The sniper trios here, isn't aren't they? Freak. Yep, there they are. Meat. Fresh meat. Ah, really? Did you really have to get chucked off like that? <laughs> I gotta kill those other basics. Yep. I should set my food up in that place. That's what I should be doing. What the heck? Are you kidding me? shot right here Perfect. lady I don't want any services please Second you were born. If God wanted you to live, he would have created me. Yeah. Yeah, Frank, you tell him. Yeah. Yeah, Frank, you tell him. Where is he? Is he not over here in this direction? Oh, freaking idiot. Freak you, Jack.
killed these three psychopaths. Now it's time to go, go back. Gotta go back in time. I think I locked a zombie in there too, didn't I? Did he despawn? <laughs> Fire axe looks like a crowbar. <laughs> uh oh, Morgan Freeman. Oh no, that's Gordon Freeman. Oh no, Gordon Freeman. <laughs> oh man. Gotta go back in time. Windows been shot out. Yep, of course it has been. Freaking pity. God damn. I'm gonna have to barricade it. Anyone there? Anyone there? Hello? Anyone there? How come the zombies always know exactly where I am? Gotta think it. Hmm. Maybe I should make a real barricade in front of it.
wants to leave. <laughs> I think it's adorable when they eat their their food. I'm trying to be Captain America. I know, it's just three bases, <laughs> and they have to climb over the table. See my character do a weird pose because I got stretch. Ugh. Ugh. Oh man. Oh. Oh. oh, they still notice me. Yay. He came in just for the hand. <laughs> I'm dead. <laughs> Like he did, he literally came in just for the hand. <laughs> what a, what a mad lad. I know. It's a magic trick, look. <laughs> I wonder. Can I jump up here too? Grab that god dang can. <laughs> that is pretty funny. <laughs> I just try to chuck it, and I just straight up hit a, uh, what's it got? A rail, and it hits him in the face. Look, zombie, we're at 19 followers now, huh? That's crazy. Actually, now that we're at it, I need to find out how you could find out the who's watching your streams and stuff. So let me go on my Twitch. What's to keep up with? In the meantime, please follow Duke. Hmm. Oh, aren't you just the nicest zombie? Hmm. 
it's very inconsistent to see who's viewing, but if you click users in chat at the top right of chat, then it should show. But if you click users in chat at the top right of chat, then it should show. But if you click users in chat at the top right of chat, then it should show. Yeah. Users. So, another viewer, Game Trans, all these weirdos. Another viewer, Game Trans, hmm. all these weirdos. Right? Another viewer, Game Trans, all these weirdos. Right? Alright, thanks. Listen to some Dead Rising music. <laughs> I love this song, but hello. Let's play some music. You were about to say more pigs. Dang it, really? Okay, the music is all right. Good. Nice. We get to listen to some other than rising music. It doesn't have to cut out. Everything's nice. Perfect. Perfectly fine.
I probably blocked it out at this point, but I never really went to try to search for anything bad. <laughs> you know, I think I should, right now, I should probably make myself a desk. Make me, not draw, but like, uh, get a desk of some kind. Oh, I said, um, I don't, I don't know which, uh, <coughs> was it? Which avatar? You have like 10 billion of them. That's what I said. I 
thing. I need to uh, make a dash. Okay. Funny, I didn't draw that Shin Godzilla. My Shin Godzilla drawing is super terrible, and I deleted it. This one I just picked up the internet right now. Retarded in the movie, so hey, yeah, 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 whoa, zombie. Uh, uh. He's supposed to look like an abomination. I love Shin Godzilla, he's my favorite one. First, it's Shin Godzilla, then it's Final War Godzilla, then I think Legendary, then 90s, and so on and so forth. No, 2000 is pretty cool design, too. Pretty stupid though. I could just chill here the entire time as long as I hear you talking to keep me away. Well, bad luck for me because I'm a terror. I talk too much. Hey, hey, hey. Let's see. No. I have a... You know, you notice how all this is trend right now? Where everyone's... <laughs> everyone has a desk? Hey, isn't this Fortune Embers? Let me see. Hold on. This is the best Dead Rising song in my opinion. I don't know. Let me. Fine, I guess I can. Oh, wait, I can't. Oh, yeah, I, I got to do it on my laptop. Okay. Give me a second.
this is my desk. But then I have to actually edit it, and I don't really want to do that, so. I'm thinking of making a desk out of Opie. Like, straight up, like, if I'm wrong. Like, I'm gonna sit down on the desk, right? And this is gonna be a big old mountain, and I'm gonna put my feet on top of it. <laughs> Discord sound ear piercing, ear piercing when I'm tired. I don't know. Did I? Oh god, I know that mate. Oh wait, I could do something stupid and inappropriate, can't I? Hold up, hold up, hold Look at the phone. Can't leave no trace. No, not right. I'm kind of tempted to uh, put Lady, Lady Dimitrescu's mid mommy milkers on in front of me. So. <laughs> I can! 
to draw it right now. That's the thing. <laughs> okay, so catch this. I have a so my original idea. Remember, zombie? Do you know that trend? You know where all these YouTuber girls are now. Um, they're they're literally putting their feet on the desk or whatever. Like it's just a big trend right now, right? they're doing that train I thought it was a funny thing I had to do with that train I was like oh what if I you know put like big old opai and I put my knee on top of it right then I thought wait a second I got an even more terrible idea what if I put like <laughs> what if I put meanders in front of me like laying down or even just her, just her head popping out and I just draw my legs on top of her head like if I'm resting them it's a terrible idea funny though wanna be but it's funny <laughs> I need a desk but well, well, it doesn't have to be them it can literally just ah I got a terrible idea it doesn't even have to be a desk hold up their name Zombie, are you ready for the surprise? <laughs> Hold on, I gotta actually download it on my PC first. Here's the um, here's the picture. I don't know if uh, yeah, I, don't, I think I have to edit out the background. my guess. <laughs> you probably don't. <laughs> it's okay if you don't know who she is, but oh god. Here, maybe I can edit it right now while we're waiting. Take out the background.
I don't think that, yeah, it's not going to take off that crap. Just in case. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, but to stream from my Xbox, I use, um... What's that called? I use... It's blue stack. It works. I don't know why it's doing this right now, but... Okay, now that it's paused, let me... for a while it was probably getting confused we're back in action baby like i stream with obs <laughs> but um i'm streaming from my Three more hours, zombie. That's all. That's all it is. It was day five, right? So, and it's two hours per day, so it's four hours. So, and when was that? Two hours in? Or, so it might be six of like six hours. So three hours from now is one in the morning for me, or twelve by twelve in the morning. It's either one of those two. is what I use to stream from my Xbox to uh, my PC without a capture card. I wanted to play on my Nintendo Switch because I love Super Mario Sunshine. You know, it's my favorite game of all time and I wanted to stream it. Um, but, you know the problem. I don't got a capture card and I don't have a normal X. Like, the older Xbox ones, they have different HDMI imports. Ports, and then you could just um, stream from your Nintendo Switch to your Xbox. You know what I mean? Yeah. 
couple more hours then we spend 14 hours together we're gonna get the seven day achievement which is the hardest one oh yeah and all it took was four streams four streams or the three streams including this one i mean there's the first one, then I think the second one is that one, and yesterday was, yesterday was the second one, right? So this is, I don't remember. But I spent most of the air. Oh, I'm happy you're here too, zombie. Because you don't want me talking by myself, I'm, you've seen how I was in the beginning. <laughs> I started blabbing about stuff that doesn't matter. Still tired? Do you think you can make the three hours or no zombie? It's okay if you can't. Make the three hours or no zombie. It's okay if you can't make the three hours or no zombie. I believe me, I would just put on a movie so I could watch too, but yeah, I would. But you see the problem there. I'm here to spend time with you guys. It ain't about me, it's about us. Comrade. <laughs> how many streams did I do so far? Okay, so my first stream. I did this is my fourth stream, so it's like four streams. Okay, so. First stream. Oh no, it was three streams. This is the third stream. But the first stream was the failed attempt. The title though, oh my god. The first title for the failed one. Infinity War? Nah, it's just survival mode. <laughs> it's stupid, it's just a, it's infinity mode. Then the next one, which is the first one technically. Good, bad, I'm the guy with the scoop. Infinity mode, attempt two, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I got that from a uh, evil dead. I mean, I mean darkness. The good, the I'm the guy with the shock. <laughs> and yesterday I did a couple of dwarves, you know. Oh wait, you actually do know. Okay then. Awkward. <laughs> and this one is. It's the final countdown. <laughs> do, 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 do. That's it. It's the final brain cell. Okay. 
again. They freaking copyright me on YouTube for playing Dead Rising music when I'm literally playing Dead Rising. <laughs> I'd be like, I'm playing Dead Rising. What are you talking about? What's up, freak? idea than before. Come on, don't tell me. Please don't tell me they actually have a tier list for this. Okay. 
I got some bad news for you, zombie. I found a tier list. attention to my health too, please. Alright. What is this? I don't think I watched that one. I think that's the one where they fight with their butts. I didn't watch that one yet. Kaijo or something? Okay, now this one, I like. His main character looks like me, so, good. Oh, freaky, I can't see the S tier list with my Xbox thing. Hold up. These are the ones I watched, so, there. Uh, I don't think I watched whatever that is. This is a good show. Wait, what is that? I just hear what I think I heard. Yep. Uno momento, por favor. You took care of me. No, it's like I care of two. This anime. Uh, I can't tell what that is. But if it didn't get censored, it's very really good. Let's go. And what's this bad boy? Is that the Devil Rebirth or whatever it's called? That's a great anime too. Like I have not summoned the Devil King Demon King. And what's this one? This is a funny anime. It's cute. Uh, what is that? What is that anime? I can't read it. I don't know what that is. It's too small. This one is very, very censored, but as me, but it's not. It's very loose. Ooh, ooh. That one right here, the one with the, uh, the brown hair, the mean one. She's well, she's part of my harem. This one. Hmm. 
Okay, only guy muscle. That's not. The song is ba. It ba. It ba. It be ba. The anime is okay, but the song is just perfect. Why can't I grab the, the magic girl one? What the freak? That's weird. Fucking pantyhose. I didn't really like it. There's some cool things with the but not really my cup of tea. Even though the pantyhose part were hot. I can't get the magic girl. Oh, I can. This show was pretty funny. Not really etchy though. <laughs> this show is... What is this show? I don't know if I know what this show is. Hmm. What is this show? I don't know if I watched it. This one is hilarious. I like it. I'll put down there. <laughs> Oh, it's this one. Oh. Oh, okay, I recognize it. Okay, I never watched Kill the Kill. I don't think I know what that is. I need to watch that bar. I haven't watched Prison School yet. I haven't watched that show yet. She's hot. She's cute. Uh, oh, this is it. This is good. <laughs> oh, God. That's a. It's all people are going to be alone. That's the. When I made my real edgy tier list, remember? I said, you know, there's like the lower tier where they don't show edgy, and at the top, there's like. To a brew with Etchy, and then between that and you know, off brand anime is like the one where they smash, but they don't show Gachi, but they do it for enemy. That's one of them. Like, it's a typical anime story, but after the fourth episode, it's parallel timeline, and it's him with every girl, and I love the little sister one. This <laughs> one, it was very Etchy. The story was alright. It was very edgy. This one was also extremely edgy. I don't think I still recognize this one. I feel like I do recognize it though. It's a great, I love the theme song. The anime's okay, but the song is amazing. But the girls on there are mm, perfect. So, next one, I do not know what the heck this anime is. Relove. Relovers? Re. Oh, no, 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 no. It's, um, it's, uh, what's that called? Um, 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 the Monster Girl one, where they review it. Monster Girl reviews. This, that is that tier list boy. It's on the top two. It's edgy, edgy, edgy. Just like a uh, Akisora or the Insult Team. Straight up smashing. That's the whole point. I recommend it highly, highly. Uh, what's this one? I recognize that. Tula Brew, obvious top tier. Now, what is this one? Golden, Golden Boy? I don't know. I didn't watch it, but it is definitely S tier. That's I'll tell you that. I have, I don't want to be unfair because I didn't watch it, but it would be S tier. It's freaking hilarious. And what's this? Hmm. Oh. Um, Let's take a Trinity 7. Yeah, it seems pretty alright. The anime was alright too. It was, eh, yeah, it was good. Shimonida. I love this anime. I listen to it every time I'm at work. I'll explain that soon, but I love it. 
the etchy is alright. Some points, yeah, she's see real etchy, but it's not too etchy. It's a good show. I love it. Oh, it's nighttime. I didn't even notice. Monster Girl. Um, Monster Musume. One of my favorite etchy animes of all time. <laughs> you know why. What is that anime? I don't think I watched that. This show is pretty funny. It's really funny, but it's not top tier funny. Even though it's really good. I like the lollies. The lollies are cute. And the older sister of the, of the nun girl. Heck yeah. This one... It was pretty lewd. Um, the mom's really hot. It was pretty hot, pretty lewd, but... Not really too... I didn't really like it that much. What's this? Oh, this is that vampire one. What's it called? The one where that guy has white hair and he's a vampire and he's one of the top four. Um, it is very lewd. It's an alright story. I'll, I'll give it a beat here. It's really good though. What's this? Um, what's that one? The one with the little sister. Um, The one no one likes for some reason. The one with the Sagiri, 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 Sagiri. The one with the white hair. The one that draws blue. Ah, uh, what's it called? My little sister. No. Hmm. I don't remember what it's called for some reason. Oh no, I have the song on my phone. I probably. Trying to play this song where we're eating. Oh, wrong song. Come on, I have it in this list. No, that isn't it. No. No, that isn't it. Oh, Aero, Aero Manga Sensei. That's what it's called. And no one really likes it, but I do. I think I was pretty good. Yeah, it's annoying when they, when the little sister, like, I, when that scene happens, I think it's episode 4, where he, he confesses somewhat, that is, I, I was all excited, and now I was like, oh, god dang it. Okay, what's this one? Oh my god, I did watch this. It's actually on, um, straight up, like, the story was meh. But the etchiness is like up here. Like it's straight up, it's like up here on their tier of etchiness. Like they straight up smash. It's even on hentai sites. That's how I found it. But. Uh, story wise. I will put it there. I mean, I think it's just about him getting better. That's kind of it. Getting better in bed. Nothing too crazy about it. Alright. I still don't know what that is. Okay, high school DXD, top tier, obviously. Etchy, 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 I love it. And there's action. I can't grab this one for some reason. Um, what is this? I don't think I recognize it. If that's the key tells and I haven't watched it yet, I don't know. I haven't watched that one. I haven't watched watch that hmm. um, oh just that one what's it called um, infinite stratus Charles or um, Charles or what do you what does she call herself now Charlotte she's hot but the etchiness is 
in the OVA for like a split second, you see the Chinese girl's titty for a second, but besides that, it's not that edgy. But in the story, it's okay. Hmm. You know, I'll bump it up a bit, but that's about it. I can't grab that one. I don't know why. Okay, now, Kiss X6. <laughs> one of my first animes of all time. So, of course, I love it. It's not too lewd. It's very, very lewd. Don't get me wrong. It's lewd, lewd. But they don't actually show, like, nipples and stuff. So, it's like that low tier etching. But it's very lewd. So, and I love it. Um, this one was alright. I think that's the uh, one. What is it called? Um. I forgot what it was called, like, the the forgotten, the swordsman or some, whatever the heck it was, where he has that girl sword that turns naked. You know, and he's like, why don't you take off your socks? Even though she's naked, she's like, you're, you're a pervert. <laughs> it's stupid. I don't recognize this anime. I feel like I might, but I don't know. Okay, top tier, obviously. Rosario Vampire. I love Inner I love Inner Okay, That's why I have a pillow for the portals. Freaking oof. I don't think I recognize this. No. Um, what's this called? Summon Zero or Resummon Zero or something like that? Uh, how did some Zero the Hero or Heroes, whatever the heck it was called? The story was alright. Not very etchy, though. I mean, it was pretty good art, sorry. And that's my tier list so far. Um, to love Rue can... Hmm. I'll replace that with the Yusuga Sarah, whatever the freaking top. The Kiss Exist and all. So that's my tier list of Echi and just anime in general. But I have watched Echi, I promise you that. I just don't... I didn't watch these guys yet. And most of these weren't even that etchy. <laughs> well, that's the etchy tier list. Hmm. Let's see how this one is. So, Tula Brew, S tier. I haven't. I haven't watched that one. Top tier. Okay. Top tier. Okay. Top tier. And top tier. That's how it's done. Lolly wise. I love lollies, like I said. Lollies are awesome. Not my favorite, but they're awesome. And when they and when they do the suit, I hate you know, there is a meme I hate. I hate the FBI meme. The FBI look. My friend loves it, but I hate it. It's just annoying. I really don't like it. <laughs> and if I like lollies, I'm gonna like lollies. You can't stop me. Let me say that. That's basically all the tier list. There's the. Oh, it's, it's actually done. We listened to the whole thing already for about 10 minutes? Really? We finished the whole thing? Oh god. <laughs> Wait, which one was I at? Hold on, hold on, number 24, right? Okay? Wife are in quarantine together. The babes are trending. Duck Nuckum. Quick. I am replenishing my supply of gum so I don't run out before the next time I need to kick ass and chew gum. 
I'm here to kick. I'm gonna eat the rotted asshole of a roadkill skunk and down it with beer. Right, so there's Poop, brother Dian. I'm gonna <laughs> shove your hand up my own asshole. I've been sent to the principal's <laughs> office. I'm not gonna wash my hand. <laughs> Time to be in a video game. Actually, no, I think I'm this is this one. me. This is the next one. Those alien bastards held out a football like they wanted me to kick it, but at the last second they pulled it back and the momentum carried me onto my back and it embarrassed me. They'll pay for this. My island has orange trees, but I wanted peaches. Family guy funny moments. Do Nuam. Find some popcorn, a vibrator, and a condom. Hail to the baby. Time to do one steroid. I live inside the PlayStation. I'm gonna maintain an erection. It's not time to kick ass. It will be time to kick ass later, but right now I am going to bed. Ten years ago we had Steve Jobs, Bob Hope, and Johnny Cash. Now we have no jobs, no okay, hope, and no cash. Please Please don't let Kevin Bacon die. Me forever. <laughs> Time to smoke one, one cigarette and fall asleep on the couch. Those alien bastards photographed me in a compromising position and are threatening to sell the photograph on the internet. Time to nurse a baby bird I found in my yard back to health and then tearfully set it free once it reaches healthy adulthood. It's time to suck ass. I'm going to dig a hole and live inside the hole. I cannot wait for them to reopen Walgreens. I'm Duke Nukem. I've racked up $77.39 in overdue book fees to the East Rutherford, New Jersey Public Library. Time to masturbate to the 1984 Sports Illustrated swimsuit issue. I'm watching the babes. Technically, this is just water vapor, so I should be allowed to use it indoors. It's time to ask. X, 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 D, U, K, 3, N, U, K, 3, V, X, X, X. Lara Croft, nude code. Tomb Raider 2, nude code. Lara Croft, naked code. Lara Croft, no clothes code. Lara Croft, nude code. Tomb Raider 3, nude code. Blockbusters still open. Tomb Raider 2, nude code. Chewing gum. I have forgotten what those alien bastards did to me. They're gonna put me in in-school suspension. I'm here. Pig Cop. Pig Cop can refer to... Pig Cop. DN 3D. Enemy in Duke Nukem 3D. Pig Cop. DNF. Enemy in Duke Nukem Forever. Pig Cop. DNTTK. Enemy in Duke Nukem, time to kill. Pig Cop, DNMP. Enemy in Duke Nukem Manhattan Project. Pig Cop variants in Duke Nukem Total Meltdown. Magnum PIG. Pig in address. Zombie Pig Cop. It's time to get nude and be outdoors. Time to uncontract herpes. My mom won't rent me Terminator 2 and I'm gonna throw a fit in the middle of Hollywood video. I'm gonna hit the water with my tinkle this time. The parents of the children at the park who called me Poop Nukem are gonna receive some stern emails. No, sorry, I'm waiting for a stall. I need to go number two. I know that one's open, but whoever was in there before peed on the seat, and I don't want to touch their pee, but you can go ahead if you want. So hungry. Need to find my wife and head to P.F. Chang's. I live in a trash can.
My mom is taking me to Toys R Us. Please do not honk at me. I am going to wait for the light to turn green to turn. I do not feel good about turning on red, even if it is legal to do so. Time to have missionary sex with my wife. It's time to pee blood. It's time to learn how to read. Damn, I'm leaked. Time to smoke one cigarette. Damn, Daniel. <laughs> Back at it again with the white vans. Alright, let's see the next one. Wait, I caught up? What? What do I do now? Dame dame, dame yo. My weekly series of dubbing tweets from the popular Twitter account Duke Nukem Quotes has caught up to the aforementioned Duke Nukem Quotes and will now patiently wait for more quotes to keep up with. In the meantime, please follow Duke Nukem Quotes on Twitter for writing the Duke Nukem Quotes and JSJ is Duke for being the one true king. <laughs> balls, 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 balls. Ces batailles extraterrestres vont bailler pour tirer en dans ma caisse. It's time to research Propecia. I'm sorry, but my wife asked for no lemon in the water because the acid hurts her teeth. Could you go back and make another water without lemon? Mine is fine. I'll drink hers. I'll just have both lemon waters. I'm sorry if we were unclear. It's time to be in a happy monogamous relationship for many years. I'm here to kick ass and chug purple drink until I experience mild euphoria and I'm all out of bass. <laughs> no boys night out is complete without your main chunky milk. Hold it right there and hug me like a man. Unlimited supply of brotherly high fives. Pino Fabino, I can't wait to see you at Realms Deep on September 5th and 6th. I'm wanted in 16 states for the crime of robbing sperm banks at gunpoint. Also, you should watch Doro Hidoro. Time to sponsor a little girl from Africa so she can go to school and make a difference in the world. I twisted my ankle playing Dance Dance Revolution for 19 hours straight, and I'm embarrassed to tell the doctor, so I'll probably just say I fell off my bicycle or something. I have never played an Idolmaster game in my life. I just think that girl with the skeleton shirt is hot. Not gonna lie, it bothers me when you put yourself down all the time, King. You can't see your own potential for greatness like I do. You've got this. Real shit. Kino Fabino. Alright, somebody's gotta do this. A serious rendition of Dick Kick'em. All right? Got to keep it together for one take. It's time to kick gum. <laughs> <laughs> no! Oh, come on. <laughs> it's I'm not walking away and doing it. It's time to kick gum and chew ass. And I'm all out of ass. Dick kick him. Dick kick him. Dick kick him. <laughs> Hey Caleb, did you hear about Doom Guy? He's got Ligma. Look, it's been 20 years. You need to let me go. The accident wasn't your fault. Ligma God. They're working on my new game. Whatever you say, Mr. Nugum, it's time for your afternoon nap. Blow it out my ass. Damn. I'm good. Kino Fabino, time for our sponge bath. I know things are hard right now. 
But check it out, it's Chip Taggart, the Primate Slayer. The Coke Flavor Slurpee is pretty good. Kino Fabino, will you go realms deep with me? Dick Fuck'em Chuck'em Nucket. Kino Fabino, what's the difference? A recruiting sergeant came away from an inn near town at the close of day. Said, my Johnny, you're a fine young man. Would you like to march along behind a military band with a scarlet coat and a fine cocked hat? And I must get at your shoulder. The shit that he took and he kissed the book. Oh, poor Johnny, what'll happen to ya? The recruiting sergeant marched away from the inn near town at the break of day. Johnny came to with half a ring He was up to be a soldier to go fighting for the king In a far off war, in a far off land To face the foreign soldier But how will you fare when there's lead in the air? Oh poor Johnny, what'll happen to ya? Well, the sun rose high on a oh, barren land Where the thin red line made a military stand There was slingshot Ah, freak I can't believe you donned this Ho, ho, ho Let's see. Why is that in the Duke Nukem list though? Well, the comments are turned off. What the heck? Alright. Guess we'll just listen to more. Uh, I would put on New Vegas music, but freaking. Because you know that it's straight up copyrighted. Hey, everybody. Send me a one. Dang it. That's my luck. Dang it, they're gonna be like, it's gonna record for like four hours, and then they're gonna be like, oh well. Too bad for you. <laughs>
pizza. Wait, what's the difference between this pizza? Oh, it's empty. And this one's Day one. Let me speak it. I think we need to today. I'm gonna ask my grandma. Hey, you want me to grandma? I 
things I need to cook.
a.m. on I think day I'm four hours into this one, so I'm probably day six. It's like two more hours left, and I should be done with the seven-day thing. <sighs> it's been a nightmare. <laughs> And right now I'm on I speed rock on the rooftop. So I have to if I don't have enough space in my inventory to take the four raw food he has. I think he has two uncooked pizzas and two raw meat. Oh wait. No, they spoil. <laughs> Thank you. That food spoil. This is in your inventory of this spoil. And thank you for your, for your input, Chris. Have a good night or day or whatever it is you're at. I know, and I can't exactly just leave. That's the worst part. I'm gonna have to force it though to get it. I don't want to. I better go cook this pizza. This sucks. I just started playing the music on YouTube because there's a lot more music and when it goes dead of night, you know, you can't exactly hear anything. So you're right, you might be. There, I lowered it like halfway. Let me know if it's still too loud. Time to get out of this joint. Triggers to how long you survive? No, nothing. Alright. I don't know any cooking areas in this place, right? Oh yeah, well then I'm gonna have to go to the Fresco Plaza to cook. Well no, I can't go to the the plaza on the right. Oh, are you kidding me? Alright. I don't know, I'll I'll check the Alfresca 
Plaza. Because I haven't been there in a long while. We're almost done with this 14 hour night. Let's see, is there any psychopaths this time? hours of oh, great yes a boss fight ah oh, you freaker he's gonna regret that does he watch Survivor. Yay. Freak, I'm retarded. I need a quick pizza. <coughs> Hold on. Hi, zombie. Ah, don't tell me if you want to a race. Well. God dang it. Well, you said I could kill three points off of it, right? That's a typical while they left. Right, I guess I'll keep it around if I'm able to heal. And no, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna try going to the cafeteria because that's Yo, you're right. Spoiled pizza though, right? And it'll give me three points still, like that uh, steak would have. Go and save place where you eat rats. This is like some fun. Yeah, thank you. It's three points though, right? Dang, I wish I didn't throw out that meat. Though. I don't trust it. Because years ago, probably like 10 years ago, I tried to attempt this when I had 360, right? And, uh, I did everything good. I think I only had like 10 minutes left. Or like 5 minutes, literally like 5 minutes left until I got 7 day achievement. And then I was in the cafeteria and I went to Wonderland Plaza and then it froze. And I was like, no! Because that was when I had to, um, straight up do uh, 14 hours without, you know, quick resume from a Series X and stuff. Ugh. pizza while I'm in here and then I'll, uh, I'm not gonna go into that cafeteria I don't trust it no more <laughs> but I'll head out and I think I'll probably go to the um, what's that plaza called the one everyone loves paradise plaza I'll head there next it's literally an hour and a half you're right 
an hour and a half and I'm done with this thing. <laughs> That's what it's named, the final countdown. It's the final countdown. I have no clue. I don't remember which food I picked up. This is more of an unprepared type of run too and I'm actually doing okay. Okay, let me think. Okay. I'll tell you the, the order I went in. So you probably get an idea, like a psychopath I bought, so you get an idea of who, what food I probably grabbed. So I think I first went outside, so I bought the sniper trio. I took most of the food, but I think I forgot two pieces, then I got that later on. Then I went to the cafeteria, I bought Carlitos, I think I took all the food there. Then I went to... Alfresca Plaza, where I am now. We're exactly right here. And then, um, I think I was here yesterday. And then, um, I got all the food here. I fought Isabella. Then I left towards the entrance plaza, but the Molotov guy was gone already. Um, I think I, I went there, then I went to the Paradise Plaza. I survived there a bit, then I think I went to the rooftop for a moment, but there was nobody. I got all the food in the... Um, out When you get outside the elevator from the roof. I got all that food, I think. And then I think I got the roof food. Hmm. Where else did I go? the weird looking area. I think I got the food in the, the you know the wood place where that the guy who hides in the floor comes out. I think I got the, the two pieces of food there. Uh, I think I grabbed the food from Wonderland Plaza too because I don't want to go back there. You know what I mean? So I don't know how much how much left really. And it takes like 25 minutes for your entire health thing to drain. That's that's something I notice. Like it takes a long time. But I'm gonna need to find some more food, my more psychopaths. I wish I freaking didn't throw that spoiled meat. I just I hope it doesn't backfire. <laughs> 20 minutes exactly. Oh okay, it actually. So if it's an hour and a half. <laughs> That's like I mean, 63 Like four and a half full heals. And I have four full heals. So I should if I stayed here, I think I'd be good. I think I would be in perfectly good right here. But I, I think I wanna go out there though. Mm. I need to go find my food just in case, knowing my luck. I don't know, I would stay here, but... Did I just hear what I think I just hear? That's the song? Or is that the song? Here, but I don't know if I really want to. I haven't seen the Jessie zombie yet on the so maybe I should go check on her. You're right, I didn't go through the tunnels yet. Meat processing? I don't know where that is. Um, North Plaza? Where is North Plaza? No, North Plaza, I mostly kind of got. <laughs> maybe. I probably didn't work all around. I just got the... It's where you fight Larry Dippet- Oh, in the basement still, right? Yeah, I didn't go there yet. <laughs> I don't know which order I should go in, though, if I do do that. 
Oh, I just go fight psychopaths. Because I do got the... Like, see, I got four full heals. And if it's 20 minutes each to, you know, to get, you know, all my health gone, basically. But then it's perfectly, like... Hold on, 20... Huh, 1, 2, 3, 4. So, 20, 40, an hour and 20 minutes. So yeah, see, it's like perfectly timed, but I think I could do better. I think I'm gonna go look around, but I don't, I also don't trust it, knowing that I can get hit and then I have to heal, and what if I don't find food, you know what I mean? Yeah, I should though, there might be a second path somewhere. Nothing out of it. For real, this is what it was made for. I, I think I'm with how Crystal Plans the uh, I don't like that I don't really remember all the places. Where is that? Which uh plaza? I might remember if I don't think. The movie theater next to Paradise Plaza. Yeah, I went to it with you. I definitely went to it. Is it a second house?
give us an example of how we Spawns and crystals now. Wait, where is Chrysalis? I forgot where that is. Oh, it's literally right there, right? He spawns in there too. Huh. The fat guy that that was in there before, he wasn't in there this time. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think I went in it early, you were there, but I don't know what time frame he spawns in though. Oh, come on, get off me. should be there then. I thought they spawned in at certain times. I didn't know they actually spawned in between times so. though. I beat the three guys in the truck too. Is, it, I wonder, is there anyone else that spawns in the park besides the trio and the other trio? It's funny how easy it was. <laughs> and I took out the sniper trio in there too. I'm gonna try and fight Cliff and my health is just low. <laughs> I fought Larry as well. Got that. Ah. I 
should just check. See if he's even in here first right now. I already killed the, the, I already fought them both. But no, the, 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 um, the family, yeah, the family, they're also, I took them out already. Yeah, I know. I need to go hide in that room over there real quick. And then I'll heal, then I'll go in there and I'll fight with Careful now, he's a hero. Now and I'll put on the real music. Man. <laughs> We're so close. Oh yeah. That's the best part. <laughs> you can still hear him over the music. Because I'm in this area. Freak. I need to fight Cliff and... Ah! That was funny because when I walked in there, I was kind of focused on looking for him, but I wasn't really focused. And I was just talking. Then I realized he was charging at me like, who, who, who? And I was like, oh, dear God! And I ran right back out. <laughs> Especially since my health isn't exactly at its best right now. He actually missed it. <laughs> Hold on. When I did this, I almost died right before reaching day five because I forgot to eat. Oh my god. <laughs> you almost experienced me almost dying too when I left the the surveillance room. You see, I literally have one health left. And I was like, ah! <laughs> oh dear god, that was too close. Way too close. <laughs> I need to beat this part. <laughs> hmm. ah, and this is the, the hardest thing to do. Not because of its difficulty, but because of how long you have to wait and how unforgiving it is with the waiting. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. I was, um. What was I doing? I, uh. I keep an eye on my theme course, but I had another guy in here, my moderator, he he also makes sure, like, other people who watch me, they're, they remind me too, they're like, oh yeah, watch out, you got one health bar left, I'm like, I know, you know. <laughs> make sure I have a, which one do I want to drink, though? I'll just drink the apple juice or whatever, I think it's coffee creamer. Alright, we gotta fight Cliff. Hmm. Hopefully he drops some good food. Let's go, boy. I also, I did this over the course of both days since I used the instant. Exactly! That's what I'm doing right now! Not my Xbox One, but I'm using the quick resume feature. That's exactly how I'm doing it. This is my third stream, basically. Oh my god, you're over here! I just straight 
it went wacky, dude. <laughs> That was too easy. <laughs> I was I was a little worried. I was like, oh dear god, you know. Maybe he's gonna you know take some hits and give me some hits. Nah, I just went smack and he just fell right down. That was too funny. <laughs> I still can't get over that. That was so stupid. <laughs> ah, should I go in there? Because I need to see if... Do you... Okay, do you know when Zombie Jesse appears on the... On the roof? Just so I know it's the case. Thank you. I haven't fought um, a lot of people yet, though. I only fought like I forgot their names. He swans at night and this D swans at midnight. So I need to go there by 7 p.m. huh? I guess she's probably our last pit stop, maybe. Okay, I don't know who I caught so far. Um I must have to look at my old streams, but freak. Um who did I fight? Okay, yeah, we could check right now. I'll go on my because I I uh, I put all my videos on YouTube, so I should be able to find them. Make sure I have a jug. I'm gonna chug jug with you tonight. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Got my chug jug ready. Now we're gonna watch that on YouTube. My YouTube. <laughs> Alright, this bad boy ready. Nope. I did it four times, but this is a failed one. Alright, so this is my first day. First day, I fought them three, so you know that. Um, I'm lost up. Hmm. Oh, I thought Carlitos right here. I sniped him to death, I think. Maybe it's. Yeah, I think I sniped Carli Carlitos right here. Where's Carlitos? There he is. I sniped him. Alright, so we you know I killed Food Court Carlitos. I stayed here for a good while, then Sonic I did the tier game. list of Sonic games. <laughs> I stayed here for even longer. I think I was looking at pictures. I was just chilling that whole time. 
Oh, oh, and then I went to Alfresco Plaza and I fought Isabella. And I think that was the end of this stream. So, let's go to the next stream. This is the one I did yesterday. Yeah, I sang Bach in the time. <laughs> I'm waiting here. I hear someone. Yep, I see, and I fight this survivor right here. If you're able to see him. I think yeah, I killed the black survivor right here. Hmm. That was, I think, the last survivor I killed so far. And then today... Larry. Hmm. And I think I took out. No, I took out Carlitos too, and he was a sniper. Then I took out the trio today. I took out Brent earlier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then. Uh... Hmm. I took out that guy that we just met in the Alfresco Plaza. Do you know the Molotov guy? What's his name? When does he spawn in the entrance plaza? Because I haven't fought him yet. Are you there, Chris, or did you did you head out for the night? If you're gone, then nice knowing you, Chris. Zombie, I think it's just me and you. Unless 
here though. Five max health. That should definitely get me through here, but I think I think I should look for others. Thank you for your help, Chris. If you ever see this again. Over She's right here. Let's work 
her hmm. entrance closet. There's kicks for her. Is right there. Okay. The counter should be an orange juice, I think. And it's because I bleed, so if I can get rock. So I'm doing good. So emeralds. You're right, I think. Sure did, did it?
to you. Everybody leaves me. Oh, oh. We're almost done, hmm. guys. We're almost done. It sucks that Carlitos had to die by zombies. Like, for real. It's really. I just flipped around it. Sometimes. Well, not even ten hours. Be here, let's pass out. Yeah, Carlitos, did you really have to die? Anyone there? Oh, wait, what did that say? What was the time? It's a 15, right? That's about to be 16. 
16, so... If I go up there, she should appear.
It says here, hmm. don't go after the friggin' trio on the truck because there's no food on them and it's dangerous. Yeah. Soccer ball, right? It is. Zero to seven. It's dead, which is the After her, if I go into Paradise Plaza, no, that's Love Plaza. That is Paradise Plaza.
It's not Joe. Joe Slade. at 19. These guys are good. I'm back in, definitely. About like 30 minutes left, people. And that's it. Oh, I'm just so good. Yeah, yeah, so this is exactly what happened. If you're on Xbox 360, not remastered PC, PC, I should be safe. Do not enter or leave the food court from 4.05 to 4.23 tonight or the game will freeze on the loading screen. Normal just in the curtain, right? That's normal, Jesse. She's on the rooftop. It's almost in the morning. Zombie Jesse. So that could be jet. Huh? <laughs>
नहीं I like Jesse, she's just cool. This is my type of woman. A serious, straight to the point business woman. And Isabel keeps us my other friends. I guess I'll just go to the rooftop. People. We're literally right there. Right there. We're gonna do this. Oh my god. I 
about we watch on YouTube, people? <laughs> <laughs> Our drama which reviewed my bottle. Now I don't know if I showed it on here or not. an hour. Hmm. I have I beat um, Jesse just right now, literally like a minute ago. So I'm just looking at this girl review my um, model. You have like really full outlines here, uh, which doesn't look anywhere else. You have like soft shading here, and then you have no shading here. It's just... Yep, Chris, all we have right now is just me, all this food, and the rooftop. Are you gonna be here to witness this beautiful moment? his name? The one I killed in one shot? Who did I kill? What's his uh, Not Cletus, it's that one. Wait. Hmm. That was hilarious. <laughs> I was so prepared. I was like, alright, who? Let's go, boy! And then he just straight out went smacked him and his arm flew off and he died. <laughs> yeah. There was just like 20 minutes left. That's about it. Maybe I should go down to Entrance Plaza so I could walk between the pathways and know the um, know what time it is constantly.
Ancient's Plaza is right there, but I can go this way. Wait, 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 wait. Why did he... I wonder, do they eventually spawn in the psychopathic yellow guys? You know, the raincoat weirdos? Finish this up, boys. It's hours twenty. No, three hours technically left, right? And for one hour in game, it's um. How long is an hour in Dead Rising? Hmm. Free, free. Uh, an hour in game is five minutes in real life. Alright. So it is 15 minutes left. Nice. Yup, there's 15 minutes and I hit the 7 day mark! Ah! I got enough food for sure. <laughs> oh, I feel so victorious. Just uh, yeah, boy. Hmm. Just like celebration noises everywhere. Probably the most cheesiest thing ever. a new type of car insurance that looks deeper than traditional insurance this is what I was talking by about. using the sensor hmm. oh my god this video is taking forever to do it
And is it going to play the pop sound? Did it play and I just didn't hear it? Hmm. Am I really retarded? Oh, wait, hold on. That was it, really? That was disappointing. <laughs> Come on. You gotta make it all crazy. There we go. Hmm. Yay, I did it. Woo! <laughs> Bend over, you must. For I must bust a nut. Ready? Okay, here we go. Mmm. <laughs> Your ears may have just been. <laughs> you have just been blessed. Something beautiful has happened. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta listen to that one more time. Bend over, you must. For I must bust a nut. Ready? Okay, here we go. Mmm. Sounds are ridiculous. Wow, Monkey. I wonder, is it? I hope DMCA doesn't get you if you play the Doom song, but Doom version. Hold on, I'm gonna try it out. Hopefully they don't get me, but... Let me see. Do... Do... <laughs> Knee deep in do. Pretty funny. A double McSpanky with fries and a fork. That'll be six fifty three. And three forty seven's your change. Dude, you're supposed to press the buttons with pictures of food on them. Don't need to, Skeet. I memorized the prices and did the tax and change <laughs> in my head. No, dude. I'm your higher up, and what I say goes. <laughs> We need to have all purchases recorded into our system. Using your big brain doesn't do that, dude. If you make a mistake like that again, I may have to write you up, dude. Also, I did not hear you say big McThankies from McSpankies to the customer. Well, frankly, it struck me as cliched. What do you think about this? Don't let our food be denied. <gasps> Put our polyunsaturated fats and triglycerides inside you. The McThankies slogan has been a staple of the company since the mid-1980s. I truly doubt that a slogan, such as yours, would even fly by the lowest McSpanky's representative. Listen, dude, you're a good kid. Please put your pride aside and do your job correctly. <laughs> how great is it that we get to tell everybody how Liberty Mutual customizes your car insurance, so you only pay for what you need? 
Can you sing the alphabet, Julie? Yes, yes I could. Why can't you sing the alphabet? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, F, G, F, G, F, G, Sounds like my niece. Yeah, I'm singing the alphabet. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S. Who is this about? Who are you? Sean. 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 This is on the Christian channel. Oh, 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 hi, I'm, I'm Kermit. I'm a frog. <laughs> what? <laughs> what did I just witness? <laughs> What? <laughs> I have no idea. Oh, wow. <laughs> I can be your partner for the next race. Sorry, Sue Ellen. It's a brother and sister hmm. race. Maybe there's a contest for lonely children after this. It's <laughs> only children. Huh? Nani? What was this? What? What is that thing? <sighs> Seven. I did it! <laughs> I did it! <laughs> You're with me to witness the beautiful event. Thank you, Chris. Now let us go kill ourselves in a righteous way. We're about to go slaughter. You down to go slaughter some people before I die? What did I just... What effect did it give me? God dang it. So all that was for boxes, right? Let me go get some. Oh, oh God. <laughs> Alrighty then. Let's go get them. Yep. Seven days. Excuse me, sir, but this is a Christian game. Let's see how powerful this so-called bulge is. I, the Goku, shall determine if it is worthy of my power. We did it too, in under six hours today. <laughs> Go out with a bang. This is the one of the longest. Ah, oh, god dang it. This is gonna be one of the longest YouTube videos. I think one of the longest I ever made. Freak. Ah, it didn't take that long too to make it. Is there a Joe? Let's see, where are these sweet boxes you tell me of? It isn't there, hey. Is this it? Is it the hardy, the hardy boxers? Alright. I prefer these clothes, sadly. But, we're about to go take out everybody. Yeah. 
Let's go together, Chris. Pretty much in the new game players. I was like some Doom music right now, but you know, the real Doom table won't like that. <laughs> <laughs> this game is really making it difficult for me, isn't it? the god Howard, he predicted this, you know that? He said, when he came to me in my dream one night, he said, Yo, Alvin, you are destined to survive seven days. And, those boxes, there's no one else that could touch him. You did it. Woo! You have the power of god and enemy on your side. And here I am. Every time you can go What? Yeah. Oh, you're more what in the world? Did you just give me a powerful trick? <laughs> Omega level mutant right here, boy. You know, people say you can't count past infinity, but that's where they're wrong. You know why? Because literally, there's a the to get infinite infinity, it's called infinity omega. So you and we're in infinity mode. So infinity omega mode, baby. Woo! We're going to the the worst place you could possibly go to. We made it seven days. <laughs> I'm so happy. Is there any psychopaths? You read over that chair. You know the chair. I feel like the Doom Slayer. Just do 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 Let's go! This is how I lost last time. <laughs> what? It's like all of them are too scared to see me out. Get off of me. Together, Chris. <laughs> Why 
Not this force me to have another 10 days. <laughs> I know, right? You're only here for the end portion, so it is indeed still a journey. <laughs> oh boy. A lot of psychopathic things happened yesterday's stream. I. I even I did karaoke. What else did I, I did too many stupid things yesterday? And I made everyone question my sanity. That's what happens when you literally spend 14 hours on the game. <laughs> your day so far, Chris? Or anyone else who cares to answer to? <laughs> nice. At least you got it, though. <laughs> I'm not the only one in this rabbit hole I dug myself into. Oh crap, I have two, two boxes of health left. What do I get pizza? Find it, find it from it. It's just 9 a.m. here in Italy. Ooh, you're in Italy now. And of course I grind the uh, pizza. It is, for me, 1.02 a.m. I've been at this for 6 hours and 2 minutes. Dang. No, everything's doing just fine. I guess if if you're online, you can check the leaderboard to find me. My ears are hot. Oh wait, you can you can check leaderboards on Dead Rising One. And Jesus, after I die. <laughs> It's like all empty now. Yep, there are leaderboards for a total PP and day survival community board. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So did you decide, like, did you just survive seven days or did you go like, beyond that? The longest you can survive is 17 plus days. Yep. Is that when they stop spawning survivors and food uh, right? Wait, does... So wait, the NEC, NEC sword doesn't run out? I haven't even been using it because I didn't want it to run out. Oh my god. Seven days and one hour and 45 minutes, I believe. And only because I was waiting for the achievement to pop. Ah. So I might just be slightly above you. Jeez. Well, I have no more healing items. And we're gonna go out there and show them just how powerful the Doom Slayer is. Ah! Have to jar with these fools. <laughs> John Wick and I'm missing every single shot, huh? Survivors don't spawn anymore after day 8, so it's all a matter of not getting hit and managing your food to survive 17 days. Really? <laughs> they don't spawn in no more. Oh. <laughs> Oh, 
just imagine I'm doing music playing over this. Wait, does the enemy with the laser sword have infinite ammo? Ooh, nice. He did, huh? I didn't know about that at all. Yeah, I don't know if you know it, but I just kind of did blindly. <laughs> I was just like, I like, I love Dead Rising. I haven't played it in years. Let's see how long I can survive it for. See if I can do seven days. And here I am. He sometimes pops yeah. in to say hi in many most streams. Oh, nice. I, I don't think I've seen him yet. But it's nice to know. A lot of people have been popping in too, just for Infinity Mode, surprisingly. Three hundred hits? What? Jesus, and I've been trying to save it. I didn't want to waste it. I didn't know if it was spawned or not. Spawn at the safe house, so during a normal turn to go there now, it's basically oh, okay, yeah, because they didn't respawn when I left the area and came back. So you only get one for infinity mode, I'm guessing. Drop it before entering the security. Oh, okay, yeah, that's what I was kind of thinking too. Mega Man Buster, you have to do the mass genocide achievement, right? Which is all like 36,000 something zombies. How about the, the clothes? The Mega Man outfit. 53,594. Yep. I might have to do that next time. Well, not in my next stream. Yeah. I'm probably gonna play. <laughs> <laughs> So the next time I play Dead Rising, I think I'm gonna play story mode and try to just get as many zombie kills as I can. <clears throat> now that I survive seven days, I believe I can survive anything. I beat every Dark Souls 2 because I hate it. I just can't stand Dark Souls 2. If you want, I can DM you the link to the World Record Strider for his job. Isn't it that they um, go to the tunnels right yeah you can link it you can link it now I'll, I'll watch it I appreciate it too thank you Chris you did it in one hour and 44 minutes Ooh. all right Kills. My health is at three bars now. Alright, huh. right, thank you. It's in my um thing, right? Let me see. Hold on. My messages, whispers. Yep, there you are. Let me make sure it's in my YouTube history. Alright, nice. I, it should be in my YouTube history. Thank you, Chris. Oh, we only have three health. Here. Well, 
funny you say that because yesterday's stream I ritualed everyone. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we're doing karaoke. I was like, wait, guys, is this song located? I couldn't play it because I didn't want to copyright it, of course. You know, because little DMCA crap. So, so I just I started I played it, but the karaoke is where you could only see what it says. You couldn't hear it, but I sang with it. So I, I technically ritualed everyone in the stream yesterday, and they're like, ah. God dang it. <laughs> it was pretty funny. I'll make a Rick roll Louise. Oh, it lulls? Yeah, yeah lulls. <laughs> I didn't even think I had a Rick roll. I didn't really until they were like, oh, you Rick rolled us. So I was like, oh, freak, I did. Huh. I wasn't even trying to do it. <laughs> See how far we can make it without getting hit. See if I can uh see how far I can make it. Ugh. Chris, okay, <laughs> I see Louise. Remember this moment. Well, I have done it. <laughs> I did it! I did it! <laughs> oh, man, that was crazy. Pro wrestling boots have been added to security room, prisoner guard, laser sword, Arthur's boxers. Uh, this is world survival ranking, right? Wait, no, that's score. Wait. Oh, world rank, survival world rank. Okay. 16 days. Oh, yep. Yeah. 17 days, 7 hours, 1 minute, and 48 seconds. Yikes. The guy behind him is literally 23 seconds behind? Oh, imagine how much that sucks. Yo. That's Dirty. Oh, wait, what was your gamer tag you said? Oh, let me find what you sent me again. Hold on. Oh, CRISPR Bowl 330. All right, hold on. Wait, it doesn't... Oh, wait. We have everyone. It's kind of around this part, huh? It should be around here. Where 
am I? Didn't I? I survived seven days and four hours, right? Or wait, how long did I survive? Did I pass myself? I don't even remember. <laughs> yeah, I can't even find myself. Where am I? That's crazy, I can't even see myself. Boo hoo. Alright, now let's look for you. Christopher Bull 330. And he said you're like, you're just waiting for the thing, right? Christopher Bull. hour 45 minutes I believe okay oh. I don't I don't see you Chris I don't see crisper bulb shoot I bet it doesn't matter to them I bet they're just like oh well there's so many people whatever Where is it? The neither of us are on there, really? <laughs> ah, that sucks. Oh, wait, there I am. Seven days, four hours, one minute, and five seconds. Oh, wait, there I am. Number, oh wait, no, that's for the main campaign, isn't it? I'm number 493 in the survival. I can't believe it. That was awesome. <laughs> I'm so proud. Woo, woo. I wonder if any other VTubers have done it yet. Probably. <laughs> I'm, I'm happy there's a lot of people still loving this game, the first game. <laughs> and in my past streams, I got others to want to play this game again. So I was like, heck yeah, keep this community alive, you know? Because Dead Rising 4... <laughs> I don't even think I need to say anything anymore. Oh yeah, Dead Rising 4 is a really good game. I know you're talking about 1, but 4 is perfect. Nothing flawless. It's better than the original, I swear. Don't at me at that. <laughs> this is really gonna be a nightmare to upload on YouTube, god dang it. Oh yeah, it is the best. Mm -hmm. Without a doubt. It's so good. It's so ex- I'm so excited. I'm so excited. <laughs> well Chris, I had a great time and I'm happy someone was there with me. It was great. It, it's way better than being alone in the moment to satisfy your own glory. You know what I mean? So I appreciate you being here. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> I think I'll... I don't know when I'm... I'll probably play some other Dead Rising games too soon. But I got other games too. It was fun having you here, man. You, you feel... If you feel... Eh, Feel free to come by whenever you'd like to. I'm I'm on uh, Tuesday through Saturday, 7 o'clock p.m. Mountain Standard Time, so whenever, if you ever feel like you want to, you'll see me playing. 
I'm not holding you at gunpoint. Because I can't afford a gun. Ho 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 ho. I have hundreds of games. Jesus. Then out of all those hundreds, this one is just oof. What did I just see? Uh-uh. Oh, they enhanced Leopard Dead 2 now? Oh, heck yeah. Woo! I need- what? Uh-uh, when did they do that? So what achievements are you missing on Dead Rising 1? Let's see. Zombie Killer. Zombie Genocider, S uh, Tour Guide, Frank the Pimp, Strike, Gourmet, Perfect Gunner, Census Taker, Psycho Photo, Psycho Collector, PP Collector, Transmissionary, Outdoorsman, Stunts Driver, Zombie Road, Karate Champ. Sharp Dresser, Clothes Horse, Secret Achievement, Secret Achievement. Those are the only ones I'm missing. I, I think the last achievement, well, I got a couple of them while doing this run, but I think on my last playthrough a couple years ago, I might have played... Yeah, those aren't too bad. I think I was... I followed someone on YouTube. He showed how to save all the survivors. Ooh, nice. Even if I didn't want to save them, my god dang nature, I always have to save them, even if I don't want to, you know what I mean? The survivors? Just like, god dang it. You did a really good gun, I think. <laughs> yep. I think that's the one I watched. Yep, I followed every step of the way. And, yeah. Yep. And see, like, and then on the others, they wanted me to play Dead Rising 2 off the record, too. Because I love this game as well. Shoot. Ah, free but wait. If I think about it. Wait, if I stream Fallout New Vegas, will I get DMCA'd because of the radio? Hmm. <laughs> I, sadly, that's the only, um, that, Case Zero, and Case West are the only uh, Dead Rising I haven't beat so far. I have Sally B in part 4, and I'm not off the record yet. Right, I need to do freaking Resident Evil Village. I'll probably do that tomorrow. I'm, I'm doing the hardest difficulty too, so you can imagine how... <laughs> how terrible it is when you don't even know how the puzzles right really. Yeah. Well, Chris, thank you for joining me in my TED talk today. <laughs> it was nice having someone there. So thank you once more. <sighs> you have a good day. Okay.
one. This is for the YouTube people. You guys. All, whoever watches. Future, past, it doesn't matter. I did it. And if I could do it, you can do it. You just probably need a Series X, though. Because the whole crypt is in. But whatever with that. Peace out, everybody. And... I don't know. Die peacefully, I guess. I really don't care. And good day to you, Chris, 1999. <laughs> and goodbye to everyone else, too. I guess I'll be a little generous and be a little nice today. Since, you know, I did all that. Six and a half hours in the making. Peace out. Akon. Nyaners is out. I can't do any handsome. Ah, whatever. Bye. See you weirdos later. Bye.